All right, that seems to be working. Good morning. Good morning. Holy, Holy potatoes. potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Thor. Astro. Halther. Heckin' legend. Thank you very, very much for the tier two resub. And why I screened my eyes is because this, this does occur whenever there is a tier two sub or a tier three sub, we get blasted by a by some solar radiation, a bit of a solar flare. Whenever there is a tier two or tier three sub, so thank you so much. And for fifteen months, no less, fifteen incredible months. Very glad to to have you joining us and also sharing this astrophotography astronomical journey along with you as well Raj hello Raj how are you doing good to see you in here wonderful to see you my friend we are we are ready for a little bit of 
a little bit of Lego today. Is it raining in Ontario? Yes, we have some. Right now, it's not as bad as it was yesterday. Actually, to be fair, this is worse than it was yesterday, for us at least. Southern Ontario got absolutely, uh, just qu almost quite literally blown away with a huge storm that rolled through, lasted a very short time, and then, um, and then that was it. Uh, slowly getting there, taking one day at a time. It, it's, hey, it's going to be, it's, yes, it is a terrible thing to have, a terrible, terrible thing to lose. Um, Raj didn't, was, was very considerate, um, and we, we, we both lost family members to cancer, so, you know what, it sucks. It, uh, it is the worst, but you know what, there, there are support systems out there, there's family to see you through this, and yes, it is one day at a time, so always, it's fantastic to see you in here. Um, and yes, I, again, very sorry for everything, but glad to have you with us for a Sunday morning. Hello, Major Tom and friends, Sub-69. Good day. Good to see you. You see the news about huge storms in Ontario. It was bananas. It was, uh, we, we totally missed it. But uh, my brother was, he was on a train and he, everybody on the train got the emergency alert. And he said, like 20 minutes later, it was just a huge storm rolled through. And then it was gone as if nothing happened. So yes, I, I appreciate I appreciate everybody in this in this community in this this conglomeration of many different people who enjoy different things, and I am glad to be some weird little catalyst to, to bring people together. Grab some weird kind of sing. Not, I don't want to say singularity, but anyway, I just, I'm very thankful for everybody who joins us. And you know, there's we we all experience ups and downs together. You know, it's uh, we always try to keep things as upbeat as possible, but no, you know, life isn't always upbeat and that's not to be in a, in a negative kind of thing it is just to know that there are always going to be brighter days ahead things do get better but unfortunately we just need to ride out some storms every now and then um, not so much like this storm yeah it's some, cr some crummy weather it's going to be great for the garden the, these little the uh, the light rain like this is fantastic for kind of rejuvenating all the flowers that we just recently planted. And we are aiming to do more of a, a wild garden around here. Uh, Mrs. Canuck and um, Mother Canuck-in-law has a has a plan for our backyard. And it is going in a few a couple of months from now, it is going to be awesome. I am very, very excited to see how this backyard is going to turn out. Everything's great, and you're going to shag everyone in chat. I mean... Sup, CJ. <laughs> Gandalf, good morning. How are you doing? What storms are we riding out? We are riding physical and mental storms. Wonderful to have you guys in here. Um, Hidden potato? Which hidden potato? Which hidden potato is not? Oh, the, um, <laughs> with the drop game. <laughs> Where is, there we go. Alright, gonna lurk, no worries. No worries, CJ. If you're under the weather, up your bums, no worries, my friend. Take care of yourself. First and foremost, I would be, oh my goodness, <laughs> I would be, very annoyed if you would sacrifice health over this stream. <laughs> Sub sixty nine landed for two point three zero. We have we've changed up the um, the board a little bit. It is pretty much no longer fall or autumn, so we've um, we switched up the board a tiny bit. You, ha you hate both mental and physical storms. It is. Now, if it's a it's a physical storm like what happened in southern Ontario yesterday, and there is minimal damage, just the excitement of watching a, a wonderful storm roll through, is then that's nice. I I like that. I I liked the storm we had here the other night, although it did kind of cut the stream uh, a little bit short. But I was I wanted just to be overly cautious because the chances of the 
of the weather knocking out our power is always great. But to capture some lightning is is always fun. So we'll, we'll take those opportunities when we can. And as long as there, see now we're, I've just also discovered that where we're living, there is a higher chance of uh, of tornadoes. So it's uh, I'm always got. I need to really be on alert, especially if there is if I have to bring the telescope in. But it was a relatively it was cloud to cloud lightning that whole the whole night, and just that soft rumble throughout the whole evening. But it was it was quite the light show as we were wrapping up the stream on Friday night. I'm glad there's minimal damage. I hope no one is seriously hurt. Um, there were a couple of unfortunate um, events that did happen with the storm, and it's just it's largely because the, the storm that rolled through southern Ontario was it was fast moving. There was very little time to prepare, and unfortunately, you get some of the trees that haven't kind of um, bolstered their roots or older trees. Uh, unfortunately, there was if there was some damage, but nothing right now to our area. D. Brennix. Or is it D. Brennox? D. D. B. Hello, how you doing? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome into the observatory. We are doing some Lego today. For those of you who are new to the channel, so glad to have you joining us. My name is Tom. I am the Astro Canuck. It is my pleasure to share my love of astronomy with you in many ways, be it Lego or art or live astrophotography any way that we can bring you guys together and show you something cool something different that you don't always get to see with your neat cameras maybe it is even a little bit of lightning we love to share it all right like atmospheric storms uh, i thought you meant bodily storms you have muscle pain today and your mental pain uh well that will be that is obvious there is i like muscle pain when it is done on purpose like if I've been out um, working in the working outside or doing something in the garden or going to the gym and the next day I know why I'm sore that's all right uh, otherwise it's like oh I slept funny well that's a that's a week of recovery for no reason <clears throat> every time you hear thunder and see a lightning I came came thinking someone's going super saiyan <laughs> the power is over nine thousand. Yes, D. Brennix, or how would you like to be addressed? D.B. Brennix, well, welcome in. Glad to have you with us today. We have our drop game that is going on all Sunday, as always. Exclamation point drop, along with your favorite emote. Gives you a chance to win a gifted sub to the channel. Also, speaking of emotes, we have two, two follower emotes that are on the table. One will stay in the rotation and become an animated emote on the channel, and the other one, well, it'll just be relegated to the maybe to Discord or just nowhere. I'll delete all the pixels. But this is in celebration of the of reaching a goal for the Lego Optimus Prime set. And I figured it was, uh, we, we would design something within Illustrator and make a new emote. So based off of the kind of the, the War for Cybertron style or the Generation 1 original Optimus Prime so you can use those emotes, and they are being tallied uh, at the on Saturday morning. The current tally was five thousand to four point three five thousand for our emotes, uh, wildly beating out the our, our next uh, largest used emote of the tier one animation, Screaming Potato. But uh, we got. Um, we got some all right. This is like the best lightning pick I got of the of the whole night, and pretty much whatever was shared on Discord was like the the best images that we got. Uh, no, not that one. And then there was just some without the lightning, but the illuminated clouds. Uh, so, are you in mental pain today? You could cheer enough to give a gastrointestinal pain to take your mind off of it. Um, right now, right right this this moment, my my mental health today is top notch. Uh, we did have a member of the community lose a family member recently, and it is a little more commiserating with 
the fact that we um, that nobody is a fan of losing family members to cancer. So it is when when one of us hurts, and a great deal of us can feel and share and understand those pains. But you know, I'm I'm I said I'm thankful for the community that comes together and those who come in and uh, say hello and maybe pop onto the next stream because there are hundreds of thousands of people out here who are doing something and I appreciate uh, each and every one of you that join in even if it's just to say hello a quick hi and then maybe you'll pop back in a little later you know real life can take us away from from things so yes it is um, you know we always like to try to up to bring everybody up in some way shape or form just know that um, there is there is there is a limited amount that I can offer in uh, a very very limited amount that I can offer up in, in any kind of solace but I'm happy to see you in here and if something that we're doing here today like trying to complete a Lego build will, will help create create a distraction then I am all for that I did not find the fly last night. Those who were in last night, the, the fly who was going around, I don't know where it ended up. I don't know if it's still in here. I'm not sure if I can find him. And I don't know if I will kill him. No, wait, that's that's too optimistic. It's not enough to be amazing. Science streams, Blint, how are you? Good day, good day, good day, good day. CJ, thank you very much for the for the link. I think that is also very important as well. Like we can, you know, we we could say there's not a whole lot that I can do. I'm not a professional, um, and by no means is there any. There's been no no trauma dumping at all today. It is just genuine. Um, happy to see members of the, of the community, but also you know IRL things happen, and not to be dismissive, but it just it, things things can suck every now and then. But like I said, better days ahead better a, a new outlook and just trying to you know it, it's you're living your life today but good to see you guys in here good morning master canuck doing okay here it's championship sunday let's go liverpool i am doing well i'm doing fantastic uh what are your thoughts on starliner finally arriving at the international space station i love that the that boeing starliner has connected with the iss offering up some more transportation options <laughs> to get to the International Space Station. Uh, absolutely, there's a big difference between life stuffs and trauma dumps all the time. Yes, and this is just some life stuffs. And I said never to be, I never ever want to actually, for anything, I never want to appear dismissive. But again, there are things that I am just, I, I am here to share astronomy. I, I know about the cosmos, the, um, the inner workings of the cabeza. You know what? Hey, I, I'm glad to have everybody in here today. Let's drop some again once because you if you haven't been following if you haven't been following science streams, Blint and Lita doing again speaking of some fantastic content to check out, drop them a follow. Go say hello. There is there are there's games, there's art, there's science, there's microscopy, and you want to take a deeper look at millions of year old artifacts, go check out science streams. It's freaking awesome. But yes, with uh, with Starliner arriving at the International Space Station, it is fantastic. It is awesome to see that there are more options becoming available to reach the ISS. You are most welcome. You're most welcome, Belint. And thank you guys as well. Thank you very much for, for bringing more to Twitch than people would imagine. There are more to these streams than meets the eye. So looking forward to seeing the images from JWST. I know it is um, the, the the latest images that had come out from the the sharpness test is fantastic. I'm supremely excited for the M M R I M I R I camera views as well. Uh, yes, life is for living. Education is always a good way to live. Also, exploring, going out, finding new places. I know it's it can always be difficult, right? In, in the last couple of years, we want to return to the before four times, but hey. It's going to take some time. And yes, we have we have the emotes. As always, one shall stand, one shall fall. Which one will it be? That is up to chat. 
or if I just spam whichever one I like most hundreds of times. <laughs> uh, he's so torn between the two Optimus Prime emotes. I mean, I, I like it's there. There's a question, not a question. There is a it's the details. I like them as well. Um, it's it's not really much like picking your favorite child, but between the one that has the the uh, the more detailed the gradients, but then the classic look. I mean, how do you how how do you say otherwise to what well, many of us grew up with? Now this is the like a, a a mentor, if not some way to to treat others with respect. And also to stop Megatron. We will not stand for the deceit of the Decepticons. But yes, as soon as this Lego set goes on sale, as soon as it's available, you bet your sweet bippy, we are we are getting that order because thanks very much in part to everybody who has uh, contributed to the to the stream in terms of bits and subs that we have met that budget and we are getting Optimus. Are uh, you building a bot to screen screen scrape screen screen capture screen scrape the metrics then spam the other to keep equilibrium? Just <laughs> just to make it even. So there's there's no chance of picking a clear winner, although we know exactly what the clear winner is going to be. But hopefully, everybody is having a fantastic Sunday, closing out the week. We're going to be continuing our build of the Lunar Research Base. And where is my... Adobe Acrobat. Let's get that over and get the instructions ready, if I can find them. There are like three separate instruction booklets for this set. Why they felt they needed to do that, I don't know. That is a that is a big mystery to me. Why they decided to do that. See that one? No. That one? No. There we go. There we are. All right, we have our our instructions ready. So this is consist. This is the the entire base that we are working on right now. The last remaining bags, uh, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Can could I make this? Could, could this be completed? Or are we going to end up at using, uh, going through bags for three, four, and five? We shall see. It is up to, well, it's it's not completely up to me. I know if I just shut up and ignore everybody. We could have this set built. Or we we do, we do um, everything that happens regularly on stream and engage with everybody. Um, and not engage, like, not like, will you marry me chat? Um, just... <laughs> Enjoying our time together, enjoying uh, having everybody in here with us. And speaking of enjoying people, <laughs> terrible segue, but an awesome person, Grand, Am Grand Admiral Quack. How are you doing? Sub sixty nine agrees. All right, all right. Where do you want? Where would you like to honeymoon? Actually, no. Where do you want to have the uh, the service? Where shall we get married? So far, Sub sixty nine agrees to the proposal. Uh, Science Dreams agrees as well. All right, this is getting. This wedding's already getting huge. Um, sub sixty nine. You want to do it on the moon? All right, excellent. Uh, what'd you miss? I, uh, <laughs> I proposed to chat. Everybody in chat. Every, chat. Will you, will you do me the honor of being my husband, wife, significant other? It's awesome. CJ, excellent, perfect. I love, yes, thank you, CJ. I respect that one, so that would be, <laughs> imagine that as a rejection. You propose to your, to your significant other and it's just like, nah, f off. <laughs> it wouldn't even be, I wouldn't even be heartbroken. It'd be like, yeah, fair enough. Lily Walk, you're in. All right, excellent. 
Wonderful to have you as well. <clears throat> Lily, what well, good to see you in here today. How are things? All right, we have um, now. What one thing I don't like um, about this port, this version of the drop game, is that the 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 ground is deceptive. You think you might be landing, you may have time, but the the whole the whole thing, just the, the border is like right here. It's a little confusing. All right, Lily, what you need? You need new arm candy. What's up, sugar? <laughs> Lone Mountain Knife Co. How you doing? How are you today? Good to see you. Wonderful to have you joining us. Holy potatoes! We are... <laughs> Gandalf! Wait, no one can see what else is going on here. Oh my goodness. Potato, hi. Hi. Lone Mountain Knife, how you doing? Gandalf, thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. For the gift of sub to Grand Admiral Quack. If also, if you're not following Grand Admiral Quack, check him out. A fantastic LEGO streamer and just an awesome guy to talk with and chat about astronomy as well. It is fantastic to hang out with Grand Admiral Quack, Lone Mountain Knife. Uh, what does this button do? Oh my god. It, this it is shows you all my <laughs> Flight Director Cliff Charlesworth's team is on station here in the Mission Operations Control Room, choo -choo. ready to assume the control of this flight at tower choo -choo. clearance. Choo -choo. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much. Thank you very much for, for kicking off this hype train. Early on. Launch control. We're just I appreciate it. For the, the hundred bits. Seconds and counting. While we're doing this. Very satisfactorily. This we'll time, get some ghost pepper peanuts. Uh, my understanding is, not that your wife is 50, you can trade her for 225s. That's Lily Walk! Oh my goodness, alright. We have some ghost pepper nuts. This is for the Lily Walk and Science Trainers. <clears throat> the countdown still proceeding satisfactorily. It picked up uh, at the T minus 9 hour mark at 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight last evening. Those first ghost pepper nuts always, always hit the hardest. <clears throat> well, thank you all both. Thank you all so much for me. For the subs and the best, kicking off water, 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 water. Water, there's no water, 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 water. The liquid oxygen aboard all three stages and the liquid hydrogen fuel sure. aboard the second and third stages. Uh, close to uh, three quarters of a million gallons of propellant. It doesn't always help that much. It spreads this heat around. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Gandalf! The three pilots were joined by two What'd you have for breakfast today, Tom? I had fire. I ate literal fire for breakfast. And a backup command module pilot, Bill Anders, who has been named the Secretary of the National Aeronautics and Space Council. I wonder who keeps doing your 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, <coughs> seven. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Science streams. I'm mildly confused. It says 100. That was a, a strange push. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rick. Apollo Saturn launch control. Only 24 minutes. Less than Kicking 16 off the level minutes two. away from the planned liftoff of the Apollo 11 space vehicle. All still going well Pretty with the countdown it. at this time. 
The astronauts aboard the spacecraft have had a little chance to our... rest over the last few minutes or so. At least they haven't been uh, busy with procedures with we the spacecraft have test conductor. At the, completion in the meantime, we have been performing uh, final checks on the tracking beacons in the instrument unit, which we'll is used as the guidance system seven. during the powered phase of flight. <laughs> Once yeah. we get down to the three minute and ten Probably. second mark in the countdown, we'll go on an automatic sequence. As far as the launch vehicle is concerned, all aspects from there seven. on down will be automatic, seven. run by the ground master computer here in the firing room. This nope. will lead no, up to the 8.9 minute mark in the countdown. For the 77 bits, get The ignition off. sequence will begin in those five okay. engines of the first stage, the S1C stage of the Saturn V. Drop my nuts out. At the completion of our hype train, we will load up our fiery chili chips with the seven pot dupla ghost pepper. No, it's not a ghost pepper, it's higher than ghost pepper. It's in the scorpion pepper range. It's <laughs> What the hell? Why not? Oh my goodness. What did you have for breakfast, Tom? Liquid napalm. I, I drank and ate all the fire in the world. So much so that We're at the two second bottle. mark we'll get uh, information and there's a signal that all engines are running and at the zero mark in the countdown once we get the commit signal the signal that says that the thrust is proper and acceptable much for we then for starting will off the hype get the commit and, and lift off as we hold on to release the vehicle and we're gonna get it's gonna get super hot right now it's gonna get super freaking spicy and there is a very good chance that we're going to... If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious shit. Oh, you got the short one. Yeah, no, thank you very much for the, for the 88 bits. Greatly appreciate it. The kids will be grabs and pressing through the unicorn. The 8.0662386292 squared is 69. That is to say, the square root of 69 is 8 something. Now please, grow up. These are true numbers. None other than Neil Grant Knight. Like he says it. Okay, no, thank you so much for we have some 7.6 million pounds of thrust pushing the vehicle upwards. A vehicle that weighs uh, close to six and a half million pounds. We're now 14 minutes, 30 seconds and counting. This is Kennedy Launch Control. Thank you. Some more nuts. Some more nuts. At the conclusion. Good morning, Nova Charter. Nova, good morning to you. How are things, my friend? Good to see you in here today. Oh, it's going to be 30 seconds. It's getting really, really spicy. Things are going to be hot enough in just a short minute. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for kicking off the hype train, participating in the hype train. If you got some emotes, drop them in the chat. But wonderful to have you all in here today. Thank you all very, very much. Thank you so much. For the, for the hype train, and oh my gosh, there's going to be some spice. 
there is going to be some spice. We have for the, the 69 and 88 bits, we put some nuts in our mouth. Spicy nuts, Gandalf. Thank you very much. For the 77 bits, the 77 bits. I said pants bits. And also as well as for Little Ewok and Cyan Streams for the 100 bits. More of the ghost pepper nuts in the face and Lone Mountain Knife. Thank you so much for the tier one resub. Three months. Wonderful to have you in here. Wonderful to have you sharing your content as well. Creating the and being Twitch's most okayest blacksmith and knife purveyor on stream. Yep. I did. <laughs> it happened. It did indeed happen. All right. So for the, the oh my gosh, the 777 bits, we have two orders uh, of the seven pot chocolate dougla. And don't let the chocolate um, fool you. There is nothing chocolatey about this. Maybe the aftermath, but just this sauce itself is, it comes in at just uh, kicking around about a million Scoville units. And it goes atop a, a flavorful yet slightly spicy hot chili chip. And I think I may have to turn this one upside down. Oh my goodness. Gandalf, cheers. <clears throat> I think it might be we're just gonna let's keep it going. Just more less than solid content. <laughs> This is, it's running low. Delano! <coughs> Hello, Delano. My goodness, if there's any other angle right now that this would look horrible. This is going to be hot. Getting the sauce out. <laughs> All right, that... We'll turn the bottle upside down, but that is pretty much it for... <clears throat> for this bottle. <sighs> Everything hurts. Water, 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 <clears throat> water, 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 this, the water, 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 <clears throat> water. <clears throat> you know that water doesn't work. Oh. Right. Hang on. Before we... Move on, but how you doing, Delano? Good to see you. Gandalf, for the 777 bits. <clears throat> oh, it burns. <clears throat> uh, I think you've had to buy the 77 hot sauce since you've been attending. For a sauce that I didn't know I was going to get more of. <clears throat> the water's not to help. <laughs> it's there to, to hinder. Delano, thank you very much for the three months. Wonderful to have you in here with us. Uh, hiccup time? I don't know. Um, not at the moment, but... <clears throat> 
I don't know. Right now, my tongue is just on is is on fire. <clears throat> oh boy. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Yeah, give a shout for it for it's me, Delano. See him joining in on. Joining in with, with Nori Kitty on some streams. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> oh goodness. My God. Ha! All right, just pry me the pump. <laughs> we'll come in for the kill. Oh my God. What? No! Oh, what the heck would the. I know exactly what the kill would be on here, but still. <clears throat> ah, burns. Oh boy. Okay. All right. It is Sunday. We have our drop game. We have. Oh my God. My mouth. The, the tongue is starting. I'm feeling. Yeah, it's easier not to. If I don't use my tongue to talk, it's a little easier. <clears throat> Seriously, this batch, whatever they did to this one, because they make it, they do individual batches, uh, it seems that some of them can be a lot hotter than others. Right, this, <clears throat> this is available from Pepper Palace. I've gone to the store at Blue Mountain in, uh, in Central Ontario. There is there is a multitude of sauces available, and some of them range from actually very very delicious to let's just touch it on your face and everything burns, everything hurts. <clears throat> Good morning, Josh. How you doing today? How are your skies? How is your weather treating you right now? Mine is treating me like it like it found me out to drinks with its partner. <clears throat> Becca's crafty life. Hello, Beck. <coughs> Hello, Becca. How are you doing? Good to have you in here with us today. <clears throat> Wonderful to have you joining us. <clears throat> so we like to do some astronomical art. We like to do some crafting with perlers as well as um, that Lego can count as art. But if you also want to go check out some more crafting, some more more diamond painting work, you know what? Go drop a follow. Go check out Becca's Crafty Life. Go say hello. Drop in. Recently celebrating one year stream anniversary. And reaching 300 followers. An awesome, awesome milestone to celebrate. Uh, looks like uh, your skies yet. You had eight inches of snow. Oh my goodness. Quack. Really? Oh my goodness. <clears throat> uh, sky's been crap and expecting better tonight. We are hoping for better weather tonight, but right now, originally it was looking it was looking good early on in the week, and now it's all gone to pot. He hits hit sauce sauce and then hot sauce. Can't even say hot sauce. It's a hot sauce. And then it says we're going to do some astrophotography. <laughs> and that's astro with one S, not two S. <coughs> uh, you got five, five inches on your plants. Oh my goodness. That's, that's bananas. The weather's all over the place. It can't, the weather can't decide. Uh, thankfully, I don't think we have any more possible. Actually, I, I say that tomorrow morning we're getting down to like minus one, minus one Celsius. My tongue feels like it's um, that sauce. Weather needs to chill out and be sunny, be sunny and clear and, uh, and wonderful in the evenings because this is the this is what we're dealing with. Uh, your tummy is 33 Celsius. It's more than that. 
So tonight was supposed to be clear, and now all of a sudden we are bombarded with a 100% of high clouds obscuring the sky. <laughs> Hoping for a little bit of twerking. Uh, that that only occurs when I go outside to uh, to adjust the telescope, uh, the the telescope to take images of space. <clears throat> uh, trying to finish up data collection on M81 and M82 and the Peloton Nebula with the Z130 before going back to the Red Cat and start shooting the uh, start, starting shooting Ro off Yuki. I have never had a clear shot to the south for uh, to capture the Afuki uh, area of the central core of our Milky Way. <clears throat> Alright, Lily, you're at 30 Celsius today. Oh my goodness. The weather's all over the place. This is bananas. We have, uh, what we did earlier in the week was some work with M81 in terms of utilizing the our our narrowband filter for hydrogen alpha, it didn't turn out as well as I had hoped. I mean, if, if you're familiar with the shape of of M81, you can see a little bit of those spiral arms with the hydrogen alpha and using mono binning on a camera. We'll get into that a little bit a little bit later, and on on a new tangent because going through what is mono binning can start to get a little in depth, but we'll. Uh, We'll talk about that more on a future stream, but how we got a black and white image out of a color camera. Uh, TLDR, it switches the pixels around so that you can... Uh, it makes the pixels larger and turns it into a monochrome image. It makes the image overall smaller. <clears throat> but with, the, with our hydrogen alpha filter, we were able to get some very, very interesting images of the Crescent Nebula the other night. Um, still not as detailed as we would with a uh, with a monochrome camera, but nonetheless, we aimed to do some very narrow band imaging with a color camera, and it turned out all right. I'm very happy with that. Seraph of the Wind, welcome back. How you doing? Good to have you with us today. Uh, did you miss anything? Uh, there was a little bit of hot sauce and a little bit of hot peanuts, but other than that, we are we are glad to have you in here. We have our drop game going, exclamation point drop. Gets you a chance to win a gifted sub to the channel. <clears throat> the thingy, the thingy will be here soon. In approximately five days, it is scheduled to land at Ontario Telescope and Accessories and then be on its way over to me where we will bring forth a new wave new wavelength of light to the stream show you something cool that we didn't that we couldn't before show very specific areas of the night sky and that's what this this device right here the ASI 533 mm pro will be arriving as uh, as soon as it can it probably can't get here any quicker because we're very excited for this one but we'll even we'll even do an unboxing we'll show you all the bits and pieces that come along with it and then we'll aim to get things hooked up to the telescope as quickly as we can because there are some there's some work we got to do there's some awesome things i want to show you guys especially now that we're rolling into um into milky way season there are going to be more nebulous targets available that are going to be awesome with the monochrome camera so as soon as that thingy arrives we'll be doing that and as soon as the, the thingy arrives on LEGO's website, and that is Optimus Prime. We'll be placing an order for Optimus as soon as we can. Midnight, May 31st, Tuesday night, will be the, well, it'll be the end of this goal, but then it's also going to be um, at midnight, Eastern time, Optimus will go on sale June 1st. As soon as this target disappears. Now we will be aiming to get... We'll place the order for Optimus Prime. How have we not been so excited for a LEGO set before? 
And pretty much the whole stream will probably just leave on the Optimus head. Probably this one, because it's more of a, a 3D look. Speaking of May 31st, did you hear about the maybe upcoming most epicest meteor shower in generations? Ooh, good question. Right. <laughs> Hang on one sec. <laughs> so yes, May 31st. That is a Tuesday. We will be streaming that day. Um, maybe we kind of start a little later. Maybe roll on to midnight for the to make sure we get the order for Optimus and celebrate that all together. And then we'll be building it. it maybe it'll jump the queue. Maybe we'll... We'll wait a bit because we will be edging in toward July. Alex, Kitty Scrabbles across the table to the six, six Newton coffee cups, samples of coffee, sneaks snobs, and then Kitty Scrabbles onto the Lego. <sighs> My goodness. <laughs> Good morning, Alex. Good to see you in here. Josh, 96.16. Very close. Very, very close. So, yes, the, uh, the, the, um, <laughs> The, uh, was it the uh, Herculean, Herculean, Herculean's uh, meteor shower is coming up. And it is one of those things that, yes, it could possibly be an epic meteor shower. Um, and it could possibly be a dud. That is, it is very difficult to say when we're going to have a high outburst of meteors. And when you're going to have like hundreds, if not, people always hope for thousands uh, per hour, but <laughs> how did you find my only fans? No, but there is a there's always going to be the the hype of a meteor shower that's going to be uh, high activity um, and really it can also depend if you're in a dark enough sky as well like it's, like light pollution can obscure some of the dimmer meteors these ones are a little slower and they're not as energetic but it gives you more time to, to see them as they streak across the sky um, actually universe today had a pretty good article on um Right, there we go. This one. This article here, May 31st, could be, could be. Listen here, you heard it second. May 31st could be the most powerful media storm in generations. Or nothing at all. David Dickinson, co-author with Fraser Kane of The Ultimate Guide to the Universe, is sharing his thoughts on what is going to be a possible high outburst of meteor showers from the Tau Herculean meteor outburst. Now, whether or not that whole that 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 happens is well, you gotta go see. You essentially, gotta go watch it for yourself. And because we are, whenever we have the meteor showers, it is the remnant of a comet that has passed through our solar system. And that is what we're seeing. And the, the, uh, whatever the title of the comets have, the, the Lyrids or the Perseids, just depends on which area of the night sky they seem to be emanating from. Although you can still see them. If you're looking at the radiant, at the, the point of where they should be coming from, it's almost better to be looking just away from it so you can see them streaking out farther. Now, you've seen historical depictions and historical accounts of some pretty crazy meteor showers. Now, if we, if we're kind of going through a fresh tale of a of a great comet, then there is that there is the better possibility of a higher outburst because the, the whole collection of dust is going to be greater as we're plowing through it. But you get into certain areas where there's less concentration, it's a little more dispersed, and you maybe get a smattering of comets every hour. So really, it's just you, you got to hope for you, you got to hope for some clear skies, and be able to get out to a dark sky site. 
But there is the there is the link to the article. You read the, the entire thing. And just kind of gives you a bit of an insight to what we can expect for a meteor shower and just the fact that it doesn't always line up. Probably be cloudy, but not without every weather app. TC flip flopping between storms and clear and the Tennessee uh, just generating a storm storm stream the day of pointing directly at Michigan. It's the weather can be all over the place. It's so annoying. Like what is ours? Um, yeah, it's not, I'm not going to get the the extended forecast out through um, July or sorry, not July, June. But we'll keep an eye on things. So yes, um, in the early mornings of uh, is it for is it for May thirty first? Yes. So when did they say? So Tuesday, May thirty first, and around one well five a.m. Universal time or one a.m. Eastern Daylight time is when to expect, and that is like that is like rolling into the the early mornings of the thirty first. Um, I know sometimes we can, the confusion happens where it's like, oh, the early morning, and it's like, you know, your your Tuesday rolling into Wednesday, but it's 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 Monday, rolling into Tuesday. So the early morning of the thirty first. Uh, that's what happened with the eclipse. Yeah, same here. I the the best image I got of the eclipse was some clouds, being illuminated by the full moon. Other than that, it was. Um, it was, it was a bust for the eclipse for me. So one thing, so it's a, a tiny little bit of Lego news. And then the last 20 seconds before we get into the build, um, looking, to, looking forward to hear the, the uh, announcement of a possible creator expert based on the old galaxy, based on the old space, uh, classic space set. So that would be uh, the 497 Gal Galaxy Explorer. And do you believe that this was like a huge Lego set in the past? Like it seems there's so much wasted space. So it'd be excited to see how, what is gonna be announced, what's gonna be re released as it is the 90th anniversary of Lego. So there's gonna be some, you expect to see more classic sets announced. So hopefully we get um, an upgraded, an upgraded view, a version of this. Exactly. Spaceship! Have I ever taken a picture of a quasar? Uh, those celestial bodies can outshine entire galaxies. We have captured a supernova. A, a, a known supernova. It wasn't any kind of discovery on the channel, although how, how, how awesome would that be? But we have captured a supernova occurring in NGC 4647. And I, actually, we haven't had a chance to go back to that galaxy lately to see how much that supernova has diminished. I can't remember the space sets you got when you were really young. I think uh, you are six to seven in the mid 80s when you got them. It, I have a couple, I have like, um, maybe like one or two kicking around, but actually there is a, I don't know if it's Space Rangers. I have to find the box. I have an unopened box from the um, from the early 90s if not late 80s doc vats giggity how are you doing today good morning glad to have you in here this was awesome because we got we got to see a super i got to show you a supernova i got to see a supernova and the fact that we can share this live and bring these images together, showing you a supernova 56 million light years away is amazing. How cool would it be if you happen to capture a gamma ray burst at the, at the right time? I mean, sometimes it feels like there can be that imaging space can be a, a chance. And because there's so much out there, what, what, what would you want to be focusing on? I am inevitable. Speaking of focusing, focusing at infinity. Oh my god, I feel the the fresh pepper sweats happening. Um, yeah, that is a, a twerking Snorlax. 
very close to the uh, to the ditto dumper as well. Oh, you got it from uh, it's from from Sweet Sage. Excellent. Uh, Lego six nine three nine Saucer Centurion is one of your favorite old sets. Now we have a couple of old sets in the closet that we are going to well we'll have on a that we'll have on a future stream for a bit of, of a nostalgia build. I just need to find out if I have all the parts. So we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, not the pepper sweats, yes, the pepper sweat. I ever looked at Supernova 1987A. SN 1919987A. Uh, no. No, I have not. It's in the large Magellanic Cloud. So for me in the Northern Hemisphere, that is a big no, unfortunately. Ponesister, what's going on? How you doing? How are things today? Want to see something cool? What's up? What do we got? Uh, did you see the pre-order on the Death Star Trash Compactor Diorama? No. What, what's the pre-order? Oh, PBS Space Time is fantastic. I like PBS Space Time. I'm going to leave this on. I'll leave this up, but um, it's the when I upload to YouTube, things like this mute the entire stream, and I get dinged for copyright. But we'll check that out in a bit. Also, I encourage people to, to check out the link as well. But yeah, appreciate that, Pone Sister. How are you doing today? How is your Sunday? Um, the yeah, the trash compactor. That one, that's available now. Trash compactor is available. I think it might actually be sold out at the moment. At the moment. Now I've realized that the um, yeah, it, this is for our, our, our ghost pepper at the moment. It is on a slice of, of white bread with some roast beef and some pineapple, some spicy pineapple honey mustard, and our ghost pepper. Uh, PBS Space Time and the World Science Festival are great channels for space stuff. It, it's like it's those reliable sources as well that you can get these digestible bites of information. Uh, it's in stock on on the website. Oh yeah, that's on on uh, the in the UK. Yes, Canada. Is it back in stock now? It is. It is back in stock. Oh boy. <clears throat> Uh, you just ordered the Lego Friends Space Center set for your daughter's birthday. Excellent! That's on my list as well. Uh, kind of a hot topic to talk about. Do you believe alien life exists somewhere out there? Uh, who at this moment right now be wondering if someone out there like us, if someone like us are out there? This question pops up an awful lot. Uh, and it, it's one of those things that it's just, it's everything is way too vast to say no otherwise, but also we can't say yes unequivocally either way. Um, I would like to think that there might be something else out there, but you know what, it's uh, otherwise, you know, it'd be a, a, a massive waste of space if it was just us tooting around this whole universe. Cool Worlds, Launchpad Astronomy, Deep Astro uh, Launchpad Astronomy, Deep Astronomy are other great YouTube channels, as well as Fraser Kane with uh, Dr. Pamela Gay doing their astronomy, uh, astronomy, uh, I was going to say astronomy chat, that's what I call mine, um, astronomy cast. Uh, the only thing out there missing is your cat, Nori. Nori. Why? Why is it missing? Uh, the walls actually move. Yes, it is a very, it's an awesome looking set. And the fact that you get uh, six minifigures with the build as well 
you know, I know a lot of people are like, this. I would think that because they've put C-3PO and R2 behind it, that they would have done a little bit more for this part of the background. Other than that, it is a cool one. We have we, we built the Death Star Trench Run, and that was a tremendous build. Actually, finishing that build in one stream, uh, somehow. Hugh Funkin knew it. How you doing, Hugh? Alex, you're going to scoot for running a little late for stuff today. No worries. Thank you so much for joining us, Alex. Glad to have you in with us. Have a good Sunday. And the treehouse. The treehouse set has a nice nice telescope. Does it? In the Lego set? All right, folks, I'm going to Sean. Have a good one. Enjoy Pepper Palace. Let us know how much your face hurts afterwards. Uh, they never explained c 3 red arm. Did they? Haven't they? I don't know. Why they decided to do that? Was that in the, uh, in the latest ones, right? Uh, doing crap, but okay. How you doing? Well, hopefully your crap improves. But doing well on a Sunday. Glad to have you here with us. We have our drop game, as always, with every Sunday. You have the chance to win a gifted sub. Also, we have two new emotes. For those who are looking to cast their vote, you merely just need to use either the G1 Optimus Prime or the War for Cybertron Optimus Prime. Either way, cast your vote with those. So let's also... Also get some bags rolling, shall we? <laughs> this is true. Chances are Tuesday, Tuesday stream will have the drop game running because I'll forget to have it turned off. Uh, science related question how does black holes keep everything in the galaxy intact even the enormous galaxies that are out there it's simply impossible to have all that matter circling about a black hole if we don't know what else can keep everything intact well that's where you start looking into uh, into dark matter or dark gravity and unfortunately science does not know exactly how it works and what it is it can be observed by how it keeps how a lot of the galaxies are kept together but also some galaxies have less or uh, or even more dark matter than, pardon me, than it was anticipated. However, my knowledge on that isn't as deep as I would like it to be. But the, uh, the quick explanation that I would have is regarding dark matter or dark energy. Or dark gravity. You got me. All right, excellent. With, with with some more PBS space time. Boom. Uh, can we please start calling black holes by their proper scientific name of space anus? <coughs> <coughs> you got <coughs> you got me all choked up, Gandalf. Uh, Home Alone is in stock right now too. Home Alone is a cool set. Home Alone. Ugh. My office is very messy at the moment. Uh, but we have... You can just see it. You can just see it right here. We have the Home Alone set. We'll be celebrating Christmas in July and doing this build. We also have a mini... We also have a mini Home Alone set as well. Uh, you failed to find anything related to dark matter. Uh, got you really curious. Wish you knew more about it. Exactly. That's exactly. We want to. Um, we want to understand it better. How it works because it does interact with. Uh, essentially, doesn't interact with anything that we can easily measure. And it is the fact that the, um, we we still don't know how 
how to properly um, measure it. It can be observed, but we don't know how to properly measure. Uh, they're keeping the dark matter in the dark for now. Right. A little bit of crinkly bag ASMR while it still lasts. I still not convinced that spontaneous generation of matter and antimatter pairs in vacuum energy pairs in vacuum energy doesn't have an effect on the universe at large, but scientific papers say otherwise. When you start looking at there's a special that used to be on Amazon Prime from uh, with Jim Al Khalili. What the hell sounds? And he was talking about Holy potatoes! Different levels of quantum energy and things like that started to blow my mind. Um, and do I have a firm grasp on that? No. No, but I would like to be able to learn more to convey better information of the... of quantum energy. Wench gang, how you doing? Measure everything that we can and what's left is the method to measure dark matter. I mean, eventually... Eventually, there will be a time when dark energy will be understood completely. But it's just a matter of how long is it going to take? How long until we better understand more of the... We have a little parcel. I, I've i never seen a Lego set with a parcel like this. What if it's like a... What if it's like a golden ticket? Unlimited Lego sets for one year. It's exciting. Uh, Professor Jim Al clearly works at your hometown university. Awesome! That's true. I, I love I, I love listening to um, to his lectures as well as the um, oh there's so many cool things in here and the um, like the TV specials that he does. Have I have I dropped on it? Yeah, I sorry dropped on this on this round. All right, a lot of cool little parts in this set. Um, we got some gears as well. And, ooh, 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 ooh. There are some very, very interesting pieces in this bag. This is awesome. Uh, maybe knowing about the truths of dark matter is the next milestone we have, next which can be ultimately break the threshold and finally become multiplanetary. I think we're, there's there, there are a lot of avenues that are being taken right now, and it's exciting. We are we're experiencing a lot of the science in real time as well, so it's also a matter of realizing that um, a lot of things that we have seen and what has happened over the years um, that there have been years before of how long it's taken. Like with the James Webb Space Telescope, it finally launched on Christmas Day. And, but that was like 15, 20 years. Um, actually, just, just before Hubble was launched was when the conception of James Webb came about. So from that time to, lo to launching the, uh, the telescope was, you know, it, it's the, it's all that time in between that we don't always get to see. That's, I, I like EJ's emotes. I like it. And that's, if, that, if there's ever one, another reason why we want to reach that next level on Twitch and hitting that, that partner status is for the extra emote slots. There's so many other ideas that I would like to uh, to utilize and we'll probably start rotating in and out some some emotes, but to have the, the space for, for more emotes, if, if that was the, the one reason. But let's start on before we get into like an hour and a half before we place the first brick. 
let's at least start building this is almost this is almost guaranteeing that um it's going to take another another stream to get this this set completed but wonderful to have everybody in here on a sunday morning for our lazy sunday lego stream continuing our build of the lunar research base and this is this is the astronaut that I was, that I was mentioning earlier that looks very much like uh, Commander Chris Hadfield. So if it was created in his with his likeness in mind, then I have I have, well I have I would never have any objections to what they they create for for Lego sets, but something like this. If it looks like a fellow Canadian. I saw the piece I was looking for earlier. It is a wonderful printed piece. There it is. I like I like printed pieces. We don't want excuse me. We don't want stickers. We want printed pieces. And apologies, I forgot to trim my nails today. In fact, I was going to do that before the stream, and then, lo and behold, I forgot. Alright, um, where's the hair? I saw the hair somewhere. There we go. Focus. There. Is that not Chris Hadfield? Look at that. I like it so much, I probably wouldn't even put the helmet on him. It's so cute. Jameson builds bricks. Good morning, Jameson. How you doing? Is that Freddie Mercury? The mustache, the mustache is too thick. It would need to be a little thinner. Uh, that's the first person that can do it on me side. It's so cute. I love it. Uh, J1407B. What do we got on that? <laughs> Burt Reynolds. <laughs> um, Space Burt Reynolds. All right, we'll check on that in a bit there, uh, Pawn Sister. Hello there, kids. It is an astronaut, Tim Peak. Ask me a question. The opposite side of the spine, like the bit where all the pages are. Oh, you're, uh... Your back sticker fell off. Like the exact center of the book. I can't do that. <laughs> it it doesn't work that way.
<laughs> there we go. <laughs> this book is becoming a hysterical mess. I love it. I wonder if Tim Peake will again be at this year's uh, Farnborough International Air Show. It'd be interesting. I wonder if he would, what he would think of, of something like this on a Twitch stream. Just slowly, slowly reading his book. Well, thank you, CJ. I'm pretty sure there's going to be somewhere, uh, there's somewhere else in the book that you want to have your name stuck. It's a matter of will, will Nori Kitty beat you to it. All right, so he has this little, I like this. I've never seen the game controller before. Like it's a pretty detailed controller. But they have it being used in some other, some other device. At uh, the top and bottom, <laughs> then we can't open the book anymore. Beetle Rock, how you doing? Welcome in, good day to you. How are things? You're ending the book. CJ puts an end to every to the book. <laughs> and your victory will be final. The longest plan ever. Um, there is nowhere on this helmet that they can actually hold it. Oh, there we go. There, at least he can hold it, his helmet. We'll leave him like that just because, because of the face. Commander Burt Reynolds, or Chris Hadfield. There we go. The um, there we go. almost ninety minutes in, and there's the first constructed piece we have so far today. It's <laughs> yeah. That's not my name. What is it? Ted Ferguson. Uh, question, how do you change the focus of the target galaxy? Uh, with that, you mean is how do you change the wavelength so the part of the galaxy uh, further than us is put into, is put in focus versus the part of the galaxy that's closer to us? Uh, with focus, you mean greater resolution. So in terms of, like if we're looking at M81, then we're able to judge how far away like the like the farther part of the galaxy is uh, at that point you're going to be using doppler um radar would see if, it, if the light is red sh is shifting red or blue to let them know if it's coming if it's moving toward us if it's shifting blue or the, the light is shifting towards the red if they are uh, moving away from us um there could also be utilizing parallax movement, but for galaxies, it's um, off the top of my head. Oh, we're going to have to come back to that. We're going to have to come back to that one. But in terms of looking at things that are much closer to us, uh, even look on uh, the trying to look beyond our galaxy on the other side of our galaxy. It's a little more difficult because there is a larger collection of stars and our our own black hole. This looks like it's going to be a good landing. No. No, halfway there. Uh, what are they going to call Proxima Centauri when it's no longer the closest star to us? It'll still be called Proxima Centauri. Um, which one do we have? Is it, uh, is it Barnard's star or is it Ross... That is going to actually be it's going to, will, will eventually be closer. We'll reach about maybe three, three and a half light years. At one point, there was there. Uh, I have a. <clears throat> the only star I want close to me is Astro. Oh my god. Okay, Th this is an awesome book as well. 
you make you you get you create infographics with uh, with scientific data, and I just I, I love everything about it. It is holy crap on a cracker. Found it. Yes, there we go. Amish Ace, what's going on? How are you doing, sir? Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, so close to a noise landing. Can we get a shout out for Amish Ace? A fantastic stream. A fantastic streamer. A genuinely cool dude to hang out with. Yes, go, go say hello. Uh, only if you read page 78. What, in here? Or in the book? So, it is... Um, yeah, Ross 248 eventually will reach a closer orbit than Proxima Centauri in... Um, in about 40... Is it 40,000 or 4... Yeah, about 40,000 years. Or is that what how... Yeah, in about that time. Stars will... No, that's, that's wrong information. Uh, yes, no, it is. Uh, Barnard Star and Ross 248 will eventually reach a closer orbit than uh, Proxima Centauri, but for a short time, and then they're going to bugger off. I hope the Lego building is going well today. Uh, Ace, we have gone about this far. We have completed one minifigure. Does that surprise? Hands up if that surprises you. At all. <laughs> a little bit of progress. We got the bag open. We got the bag open. Warship, how are you doing? How are you feeling, sir? Good to see you in here. Can we also get a shout for the warship? The warship, the, the catalyst for everything that is to do with the Anchor Club. Uh, you are dead. R.I.P. Very sorry. Can we get a can we get a rip in chat for warship? Uh, it does not surprise you at all. <laughs> when does it ever? What's page 78 in here? Page 78 talks about lurking in the beard. How to. Oh, look. There's a red dot where my pointer should be. Click the screen so Estro knows what the heck you're looking at. I appreciate the lurk, Ace. Have a good one. Uh, page 78. Timeline of the solar system. We know the age of the solar system fairly precisely, thanks to evidence from meteorites, which contain the first material to solidify. A lot has happened since then. We start off with the creation of the sun and move down to the, to, to the collection of the planets and the protoplanets forming. Right down to... Today, when Nori Kitty calls out for page 78 to be read. Yes, a, a book like that is um, to be visualizing scientific data. Wayne Goth, how are you doing today? Good morning to you. Good afternoon. Wonderful to have you in here. Uh, lurking for a shopping trip with the kiddos. Good. Oh, good freaking luck, Ace. Good luck. Frankie, how are you today? Wonderful to have you in with us. Good day, good day, good day. See, so yeah, I worship. Wonderful to uh, to see you're on, hopefully on well less than dead. I do miss I, I I do miss you, but also at the same time, get better first. You know, there's always going to be ups and downs in streaming, and it's it's kind of tough to find to know when things are going to when things are going to be moving around. It's it's always tough to see. You know, there, there's a lot of great content out there, and there's a lot of awesome people, and it's just making sure that the communities will also share 
what we are, what we're doing here, what, what's what's bringing people together. Uh, the book that we were looking at was Cosmos, the infographic book of space by Stuart Lowe and Chris North. So if you search for, and it's not the Carl Sagan Cosmos, but if you search for the Cosmos infographic, and there are a couple other books that uh, provide infographics as well. I should probably throw that in our books section. Um, what'd you get, uh, Pone's sister? Did you did you get a satellite up in in space in Kerbal? My goodness, I'm having a hard enough time trying to capture R rescue Jeb to bring him back. Uh, the Carl Sagan Cosmos, yes. Uh, I listened, that is a 14 and a half hour audiobook uh, um, narrated by LeVar Burton, and every ounce of it is, is wonderful to listen to. It's a geostationary orbit around Earth. So you got that orbiting orbiting curve, and that's awesome. That's, that's a great deal. If you watched what was happening last night, if you watch what was happening last night, that was um, that was something. When a warship, good to uh, always wonderful to have you in here. And like I said, you and the Anchor Club have been very instrumental in helping helping out a great deal of people. And I can only hope that in in what we can do to bring you up is going to be will be well worth it in the end. Uh, full color hardcover. Found two copies at a thrift store for three dollars for Cosmos. Excellent. That's a good find. Uh, never mind, Jeb. We need to get into Elite. We're heading back, so I can pick up along the way. I'm gonna go visit Earth. All right. I'm trying to think what the schedule is like for the uh, for the next week. We shall we shall discuss plans how we can work it. Fair enough. I know every game isn't always going to be um, people's cups of tea, but as a game, it is... It is fun. It's it's cool just to uh, to toot around and explore, and especially when you use the, um, when you use the the drives, the hyper drives, correct. I think it work. It'll probably would work better with um, knowing exactly the ins and outs of the game, because I do feel like I do bumble around in the dangerous, but I do enjoy it. Barely. See, also barely making it onto the onto the platform gives you a chance. Gives you a chance for a tier three sub to be gifted to the channel. Now that's always um, that's always the possibility. Uh, actually, I think today I got point three three on my landing. So I mean, right there is the. Uh, is the chance for some excitement. <laughs> uh, only wanting to win so you can so I can ask to donate it to your charity instead. That's your plan. That is an honorable that is an honorable plan, CJ. I appreciate it. And also fuck you drop game. <laughs> you want war you have you have brought this upon yourself drop game what have you wrought uh, you just want to save all your subs so I have to do a hundred subs well right now Nori you're up to we got two or three saved up at the moment oh my god this next piece is going to this next piece 
Okay, don't look at the next piece that I'm building. Don't, don't look. This is incredibly against terms of service. We, we, we shouldn't be building this, and it's only because I would recognize it, and a few others are going to see it, and I know exactly what's going to be said in chat. At least that's what it looks like in the instructions. Eyeballs. It looks like goofy eyeballs. <laughs> You're up to three? How do you have to... Nori's the only one who's allowed. That's it. Nobody else is allowed to save. Unless you are getting close to um, a thingy. A thing, you know, you, if, you're getting if you're like a couple days away from, from resubbing. So adorable! Hello, my love. Uh, you have WhatsApped me a picture of hot sauce. Let me know if you want it. Uh, let me see my, my WhatsApp. Uh, hello, so adorable. We were just talking about willies again. Yeah, what's up, Doc? What do we have here? It's not loading. Um. I will. Polite. Ooh. No, I'll take one of these stormtrooper um, hot sauces. <laughs> I'll take one of these. <laughs> Just because there's a stormtrooper on it. <laughs> and just the way how he's standing. <laughs> and that is actual feline cats that we talk about. In the cart. Excellent. Thank you. All right. In the instructions, it looks much more um, provocative. They knew what they were doing. All right. So we could probably do a poll. I know exactly where it's going to go. If you, if mods do it, put up a poll. Will we finish this build today? I can tell you right now what to what to answer. Yes, believe in me. I think we can finish this whole build today. It is a high possibility. I mean, it's not like I lost the sticker sheet or anything, right? There are stickers. There are lots of stickers remaining for this for this set. But we have two more to put on. Let's uh, let's add these in. I need a brick separator. Let's destroy our tree. the tiny stickers how they stick uh, will astro finish this build today yes yes if he stops talking maybe if he stops talking no he don't stop talking no i know where i would cast my vote i know exactly where my vote would be cast there we go there's there, there's one sticker one, one sticker, ah, ah, ah. Four, four stickers, ah, ah, ah. Seven, seven stickers, ah, ah, ah. Eighteen, eighteen stickers, ah, 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 ah. 
How do I vote? Up above. Um, up above in chat. There is a little... There's a thing to vote with. You know, uh, a button. Top of the chat. If you're in, if you're on mobile, uh, top of the chat as well. Just exclamation point board. You see the message from Maca builds sharing his love of Top Gun. Now it is either for for fifty, sorry, for five thousand bits or fifty U.S. dollars for one month. You get a Lego board designed with your message. And next up, next month's message will be will be coming courtesy of Gandalf. And whatever is is being concocted with Gandalf is a is a great mystery at the moment. So we'll have a new message coming up in the uh, in the first week of June. Once the the time runs out on on Maka's message. Will you walk you back? Now? Oops, she's back now. Welcome, welcome back. Good to have you with us. Glad to have you in here. Oh my goodness, yogurt! Where's the earth shattering kaboom? There should be a kaboom. Let's do that one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Happy one year of amazing astronomy, Lego shenanigans, and Ontario references that confuses chat. Yogurt Girl, thank you so much. 12 months. My goodness. I appreciate it. There, there's your shattering kaboom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wonderful to have you in here today. Hope your Sunday, I hope your weekend has gone well. Did you get any of that storm? Not to dox things, but, you know, uh, we just missed it here. I know my... Uh, my brother and my mom got a got like the full brunt of the storm. Uh, you want to vote yes for the memes? Uh, no, because you think it's true. Well, so far it looks like um, maybe if he stops talking, one with uh, with three votes. I appreciate the optimism, but I am um, pretty sure it's going to be no. <laughs> I love being in the community. Love having you here as well. It's the and seeing the the cross pollination between so many other streams that I that I hold in high regard as well, and seeing other people jumping in and out of the communities, it is always wonderful to see. Uh, yes, awful storm, insane wind, power went out, and all good today though. Hopefully, no um, no massive damage occurred around your place. We I, I, I had a little bit of rain and one clap of thunder, and that was it. So I've, I'm figuring we, we kind of got off light. Although today, the weather is um, non-existent. Unfortunately, our weather outside is purely IP addresses. And there's nothing we can do about that. Um, unfortunately, there's a glitch in the matrix. We don't have any outside at the moment. Actually, I really don't have any outside. We've, uh, we've lost connection with the outside world. There we are. There's there's our there's our outside. <laughs> uh, power almost went out and your lights flickered. You had such wet snow. That's bananas. At this point, you're still getting still getting snow. I mean, you never have to shovel a rainy day. That's one thing I did like about England, is that we had like a couple of instances. Aku, you winning, son? Hell yeah, we're winning. Hell yeah, we're winning. How are you doing today? Good to see you again.
Uh, J14, uh, yes, that one. While we're on the, while we're on a tangent at the moment. A extrasolar planet located 433.8 light years from Earth in the constellation of Centaurus. The planet was discovered in 2012 by the University of Rochester located in New York. A, a super Saturn. So this it, this is the ring system around this planet. It looks like a cost of coffee in space. I know, right? Ah, uh, the blue orangey guy. Pfft. I wouldn't make a spaceship that looks like a dick. That's for sure. Uh, does anyone use the ASI Air Plus on station mode and have it work consistently? I've connected the ASI Air to directly to my home network. That's a ring system. So the artist's conception of the extrasolar ring system circling the young giant planet or brown dwarf J1407b. The rings are shown eclipsing the young sun-like star as it would have appeared in early 2007. Is interesting. I would want to take a little bit of a uh, except I would and I did. All of our rockets and Kerbal looked like penises. <laughs> except Blue Origin just really, really drives that home. So, uh, Josh, I connect the, the ASI Air directly into my network. So your app can never find it, but it's on the network. Uh, you can download from your Mac using its IP address, but the app just can't connect. Is it because... Are you using, like, an iPad? Is it something with, the, with, um, with, with Apple's API that doesn't want to jive with the ASI Air? Hey, dick rocket, very nice. We have number one, number one rocket shaped like, like the banners. So the perfect rocket to use. Yeah, using your phone. Now, with the original ASI Air, I was able to connect with station mode using Android Pixel Six. Uh, New Shepard. It does. It really does. It is very, it is high, it is more, it's the most phallic looking rocket. Uh, you really wish someone could be, you want to be a fly on the wall when that Shepard rocket discussion, the discussion about, about that shape came up. It, it, somebody must have. Uh, the planet is hotter than our sun and it's bigger, bigger than its host star. Interesting stuff. I mean, there's again everything that happens in space, all of the the research has done, and I mean, there's no shortage of discoveries. I'll leave that link open. I'd like to take a look um, at the art, the um, the information that comes out of the University of Rochester. So there is this link I found. <gasps> Pardon me. Would like to check that one out. I'll leave that one up. like to get more more information if there was a billionaire with a small pp i would definitely design a rocket to look like a massive pp upstate dave how you doing i apologize i saw you just before i was distracted by my beautiful life um but good to see you hope you're doing well may we also get a shout out for upstate dave a fantastic builder a fantastic member of many Lego communities. I like that you like space stuff. I love space stuff. So much so that I try not to get too distracted when we're building some space Lego. Um, so you're saying the gravity would rip the planet apart or cause the gases at the center to squeeze together to create nuclear fission. Uh, therefore, it can't be bigger than our sun or bigger than the host star. Now, if it doesn't cross the, the Roche limit, that if they can safely orbit each other, now it may not be like a, uh, a very good orbit, but again, it's the mass 
of that is the size of the planet being measured by the ring system as well. Are you good? Hanging out near your AC. It's quite warm here already. It's it's cooled down here considerably. I still have the fan on in the in the office, but it is it is a very very it's much cooler today than it was past couple of days, which is nice because I don't need to be sweating bullets in here. All right, we're getting we're getting so much closer to the to the completion of this build. This is um, we're like almost there. Like just a few more pieces and this whole set is complete. So in your face, everybody who figured I wouldn't finish it today. Uh, planets don't usually have a size limit. If planet is entirely made of heavier metals, fusion cannot happen. So if it is a largely, if it's an iron core, um, iron essential, well, iron doesn't allow for. If you if you fuse iron atoms, so you, you uh, it, the iron absorbs energy either way through fission or fusion. So if if it's going to start with a with a core of iron, uh, plants. Oh, sorry, that um, uh, here it hasn't been higher than twenty Celsius all year in Sas in Saskatchewan. I mean, I'm fine with that temperature range. I don't, I don't want the uh, the extreme heat. I don't. Uh, I don't care for it because extreme heat can start to bring extreme storms, which is ruining our time with astrophotography. Yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to have a bad time. Okay, we want to be able to image the cosmos. Okay, so if all these clouds can just please fuck off. Okay, that'd be great. Okay, if we get rid of these clouds. That'd be fantastic. Just enjoy the night sky. Nick, how you doing? Good afternoon to you. Good to see you in here. How deep is this hole? How far can I stick it? That seems about right. <clears throat> I hope Beetlejuice explodes soon. It's going to be lit. It would be a sight to see. And you know what? There would be more people probably... After the first few days of Beetlejuice lighting up the night sky. People would be angry at it with this light. Especially washing out so much of the Orion constellation. It'll be one of those things, oh, why did it have to go supernova? Don't you know I have observing to do? Don't you know I want to take pictures of the Horsehead Nebula, Beetlejuice? How dare you? Uh, doing well. What are you building today? Guessing something space. Yes, we are building, we are continuing our build of the Lunar Research Base. That is, uh, that's this bad boy right here. And there go my bags falling out everywhere. Yes, we're continuing the build of the Lunar Research Base. How far we get to it today is, is a big giant mystery. I was kind of, in my, in, in my head, don't stay too long in my head. I was thinking that we could have gotten a, a fair distance on this build. So far, uh, we are two hours into the stream. We are uh, on step 10. <clears throat> so there's um, <laughs> a little a little bit of time. We just, need, we just need like a couple more, just another hour, and we're good. And then we'll have this thing, we'll have this thing licked. It is part of the Lego City that is based off of NASA's Artemis missions. And we have built the, the Lunar Rover, which pairs up with this set as it can connect to the, um, to the research base itself. And there are a few other sets to be purchased. 
that will um yeah that will bring us closer to the ultimate goal of building the NASA SLS rocket as well whenever that arrives there are pieces I forgot there is a paper planetary entirely made of a plant entirely made of oxygen you keep that away from open flames that's a lot of space that's a dimmed like 30 percent do you have a um, oh with um, Beetlejuice uh, do you think SLS will fly before Starship? Interesting. Um, hmm. Yes, I think SLS will still fly before Starship. Did I manage to rescue Jeb? No, but I managed to get a, a um, the science points enough to bring in a two crewed capsule. So at least we, we have the means. Now it's just trying to match up orbits with Jeb. Uh, how well that's going to work, I don't know. I don't know. Shytown Deke, what's going on? How you doing today? Uh, Chris gave you a great compliment yesterday, and you wholeheartedly agree. Well, thank you very much. Wait, is it the cousin it compliment? <laughs> but how you doing, Shytown? Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, they think maybe it was because of sunspots with, um, oh, with, with Beetlejuice. I mean, we got really excited when it started to dim. Yeah, Deke, welcome in. Thank you so much for joining us today. For those of you who are new to the channel, I welcome you in. We're at the top of the hour. My name is Tom. I am the Astro Canuck. It is my pleasure to share my love of astronomy with you as often as we can. Maybe I'll show you a supernova. Maybe I'll moon you. You don't know. It can always be a different different bag of mixed targets every stream. Whenever we can take live images of outer space. Unfortunately, at the moment here in central Ontario, our weather is absolute pants. It's the drizzling shits. So, unfortunately, we, we can't do any imaging today. Hopefully, there's a possibility we'll have clear skies tonight. And that stream would probably start around like 10, 1030 Eastern time when the skies will be dark enough to take some images of outer space. But until then, today, on a Sunday, we are building the, we're continuing our build of the Lunar Research Base. And as with every Sunday, we have our drop game available for those who wish to play. It is free to join in. You have a chance of winning a gifted sub to yourself or the community. And yeah, we're always happy to have you in here. Okay, so this all oh, this is cool. This is neat. So you you stick this one through through here, and we attach it, and then you can wind up the whole the whole thing. That's so cool. See, it's the little things like this that I like. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nick, 98.11. Holy potatoes, very, very close. 98.5 is the cutoff. That is the threshold for the for the gifted sub to the channel, but that is freaking close. There is a planet made of oxygen. Planet HD 209458b is the first trans trans transiting planet discovered, the first extrasolar planet known to have an atmosphere, the first extrasolar planet observed to know I mean, to have an evaporating hydrogen atmosphere, now the first extrasolar planet found to have the at an atmosphere containing oxygen and carbon. And that's for the easily rolling off the tongue HD 209458B, which is the partner planet of the star HD 209458. Why not? How you doing today? Good to see you in here. 
out our things. We are finishing this build today. We are totally finishing this build. It is completely. There is nothing that'll stop us from completing this build. Except maybe not finding a pivotal piece. A very specific piece. There it is. Well, good to see you here. Why not? Hope you're doing well on this Sunday. Glad to have you all in here. Let's go there. So we have we'll, we'll have the claw. We shall be able to pick up items. Oh, it's a rubber band. Um, did that attach? I didn't hear a snap. It was a quiet attachment. Oh my goodness! This this set just keeps getting cooler and cooler. Like. Yes, I love, I, I really like the little things like this that, um. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. <laughs> it, it doesn't take a whole lot to amuse me, does it? Just give me some pieces that work in, in cooperation with each other. And I'm, I, I'm happy. Okay, so the other thing is that this looks like it is a a rubber band. So I can see why they would have put it in the uh, in a box separate from everything else. At least I think this has got to be the rubber band. Nothing else would make sense in here. It is. That little parcel was for a little rubber band. And as long as you don't break it. As long as you don't snap any of this. There we go. Look at that. And now it closes all, all by itself. Uh, Drop Game says OG Prime is the answer. Good. Now, as long as the OG Optimus Prime wins at the end of the month with the amount of votes given by usage of the emote, then that will become a permanent emote on the channel. And most likely become animated. Uh, what's winning at the moment? I would have to check. All right, so there is. There is our little. <laughs> it works! It will grippy. It grippies things. Tracker, hello. How are you doing? Oh, that's so cool. Seems to be a little off balance. Anyway. Well, if that isn't like the one of the coolest things that have ever come out of a build. Feels like a little sky crane. <laughs> and then you can you can bring it up. It's awesome. I love it. Uh, made you an umbrella come the 31st. 
I've got the sky rocks raining down. Hopefully so. Oh. Is that in this one? No, there was another piece. There's a little... So we can either have the... Oh, we can use, either use the, the whole sky crane or just a hook. We're going to keep the hook for safekeeping. There we go. The hook will sit on here. That's cute. I like it. I like it. I love it. <gasps> Pardon me. All right. So what is winning at the moment? Right now, I can see that the, the Optimus Prime has a little star beside it. The, the G1 holds the star. What is the, what is the count right now? What do we have? Doom, boom, ba, boom. Channel analytics. Let's make sure this is up to date. Uh, the OG Prime, 5,115. The Cybertron Prime, 4,000. 38. So that is the, the current score for the emotes. Um, yeah, I think we can just look over here. That's fine. There we go. There's the, there's the score. 5,115 and 4.38 thousand uses for the uh, start spamming when you end. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, you know, people are free. If you want to vote that way, yeah, let's see. I just need to make sure that I'm catching up with chat. That's all. But we are okay now. We're we're, we're getting into the to more of the build. All right, we need a couple of these pieces. These are like like a pre-assembled molded piece for the rocks. <clears throat> All right, so we need this. Utilize this base plate. There we go. Step one of the entire lunar research base. There we go. Now, now it's starting. Look at this. It's already starting to look all fancy schmancy. It's perfect. All right. Also, Nori, I will take a look this week for you. Uh, tomorrow here in Canada is a holiday is a is the may long weekend so unfortunately post offices won't be open post post won't be delivered here but uh th early later on in the week i will check on the status of your parcel to see if i can find any kind of update or if i need to if i need to um lodge a lost pa lost parcel uh, complaint uh, May two for weekend, indeed, indeed. Cannot, you'll find one half credit for a sort of OJ violation of the verbal morality statute. Just want to say your astrophotography streams have been inspiring. Midnight Smith, thank you very much. Very kind of you, <clears throat> and for a a first time chat as well. Thank you. Oh, the heart emote still gives off the heartbeat. <laughs> Midnight Smith, thank you very much for the for the 50 bits. And as always, with every 50 bit increment is our Picard's Ghost Pepper Chip Nut. I like the Chip Nut a little better because they hold their shape and you get more spice on your nuts. 
<clears throat> Captain Jarvis. Hello, Captain. Welcome, Midnight Smith. Thank you so much. On to the spike of appreciation, our, our pillar of happiness for you. Glad to have you in here. For all time, I do not I, I keep all of my spikes as well, as a reminder. So it's not like you all go into the <clears throat> You don't go out for recycling or anything like that. I keep you. I keep you. Because everybody everybody's integral to what we do here. We have reached many goals and we have more goals that we're that we are aiming for. And on the if things go proper with the uh, with the May thirty first stream where this sub goal also ends, um, we will we might roll over until midnight to celebrate the purchase and the release of the Lego Optimus Prime, which is why we have these two new follower emotes to vote with, for which one is going to become a permanent fixture on the stream, largely because I grew up with Transformers, I love Optimus Prime, and it's just fun to be talking about Optimus Prime. <clears throat> but thank you, uh, Midnight Smith. I am happy to be able to bring the night sky to people and share some views that may not be possible without the assistance of a telescope. And have the, this time with everybody and meet some new people as well. It's what I enjoy doing. I enjoy doing this as well on a Sunday morning, building some Lego sets. But it, it's also meeting new people and sharing stories and sharing, sharing the knowledge. Because do I know everything about astronomy? Um, no, no, not at all. But would I like to know more? Always. I always like to improve my knowledge base so that I can easily answer questions for people and help point them in the right direction or at least engage in some other topics that people do enjoy themselves. So that is what I, that is what I like to do here. And if it also means building some Lego sets and maybe, maybe trying to get things done in a fashionably punctual time. I don't know what we're racing toward, but just to be sure that we have all of our, <clears throat> all of our bits and pieces together. Sub-69 landing for 75% even. And where am I at? Very low score. Used to be used to be huge into space. Life got complicated, lost a passion, but recently visited NASA and a man that came crashing back in like a supernova. Uh, so finding your stream has been amazing. Awesome. That, that, is, that is quite the journey. And glad you found that passion once again for, for space. I think right now, and I've said this before, the time that we are living in and what we're able to witness with space exploration and being able to enjoy these moments in real time and watch the 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 success and failure of missions as they're broadcast live is a unique position to be in and i am thankful for those who who share who share astronomy in other facets, because there, we, there are other streams that will cover rocket launches in greater depth than I can, with a more with a heftier knowledge base. But at the same time, we also do like to watch watch rockets go off on stream here. Can I offer Can I offer you deeper insight? Eh, not a lot of time, not really, but I just like to watch the rockets go. Whoosh. And when we play Kerbal, most of the time our rockets just go. So again, I am, <clears throat> I am here to provide some wonderful conversation, if possible. Um, in terms of having the best game experience, um, 
Plus, as you saw, for at least 50 bits, I'll put hot nuts in my mouth. <clears throat> but today, today is Sunday, and Sunday is all about Lego. Building our Lego Lunar Research Base. And this is part of the, the wider collection of the Lego City based off of the Artemis missions. Um, oh, yes? No? Did I... Did I muck this up? I did. Wait, no. Go like that. And there we go. If I paid attention to the to the instructions. <laughs> Uh, yep, either go boom or time to play the Major Tom song. This is true. <laughs> AA Ron, Aaron, how you doing today? Welcome. I uh, gotta wait for the honeymoon to do that. Oh, with the uh, with the nuts. All right, we'll wait for that. Now today's build and last week's build and probably the the finale of next week's build is the Lunar Research Base. Again, part of the Lego City, inspired by NASA's Artemis Base Camp concept. So we are just beginning to get this portion together right now. What hope you're doing well, Aaron. Wonderful to have you with us today. Uh, there are so many space-themed Lego City sets. It's surprising to just do a Lego Space series. Well, the thing is about to do in space is that they're going to be... So there's rumors that they're going to be releasing a space set. And where is that link? It is a possibility of a Lego creator expert based off of the Galaxy the Galaxy Explorer 497 for their classic space theme. So it is I guess they're, they're, maybe they're waiting to relaunch the, the, the space set. Uh, the Danish bubble set, beautiful. It's awesome. It looks it's been a fun build so far. And the, the best thing right now is this, is the claw. The the claw that will actually grip. And it'll pick up the pieces. So it actually holds them. <laughs> I love it. Uh, where did the drop game go? It's still there. You might be in the middle of a round if you may have dropped once. Yeah, it's still going. But yes, that's probably so far the coolest thing. Plus the um, the the Chris Hadfield X Burt Reynolds minifigure that's included in this one. So as always with the drop game, you got the chance to win a gift itself, ninety-eight. 0.5 or higher will get you in on in on the win and you get a gifted sub to the channel. If you are already subbed, you have the choice of a specific viewer or just a general gifted sub to the community. So far today, the drop game has not been kind. It has teased a little bit. Uh, heck yes, Burt <laughs> Bert Reynolds in space. Yeah, let me tell you something. It's... Uh, it's also important that his name tag reads Turd Ferguson. All right, let's I see. I am uh, inevitable. Haha. <sighs> <sighs> Take that, Thanos. How are you doing, Hugin? Good day to you. Welcome. Welcome in. We are. I'm guessing this is what the next piece is because it looks very symmetrical, what we're doing here. There we go. It, it's it's already looking space basey. Just with the, again, printed pieces. Yes, to printed pieces. We always want more printed pieces.
Now, hopefully later tonight, the weather will play nice with us and we will be able to do some live imaging. If not, um, Monday night might be a possibility as well. The, the forecast can be slightly all over the place and it has like in this forecast has shown we have clear skies we don't have clear skies oh we do have clear skies so i will have to play it by ear and just pay attention to the weather patterns as they come in and see if we will be taking the cover off the scope tonight or tomorrow but if not we are we'll be back on tuesday evening with astro's potpourri tracker it was looking like a good drop unless Aaron is going to get the no nope, 15.45 0 0.01 and that is getting down to very specific pixels I uh, I got down to what is it drop is it drop low let's do the lowest one Drop bottom? What's the command? <laughs> Lowest score in the past 24 hours, me, 0.33. All right, there we go. Top players, Nick with 98.11, uh, myself, 96.74, Josh Kovach, 96.16. See, it's been teasing. He's been getting very close with the drops today. But unfortunately, nothing, nothing substantial at the moment. But that's okay. Sometimes the drop game is very generous, and other times the drop game is very much in my favor. Although let's let's be real, I would I would love to see more people with the emotes here in the channel. But again, the drop game is just an opportunity to. It, it's it's always fun to win something, right? No matter what the size of the prize, it is nice to, to, to have that notification. Hey, you're victorious. You won. Congratulations. Pick up your prize at the door. Don't forget to tip your waiter. We got a deal for you. So like I said, there are a few other sets to go to, um, I guess, to complete the whole collection. And that is my aim for what we do, what we're doing here. And um, maybe, maybe this camera would look a little better at the moment. Is to have more, like, where am I going to put these? Uh, I don't know where at the moment. All right, you're going to get some noms. Uh, chores get done sooner. Get the get the chores done. Reward with the noms. What 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 does your stomach say, Grand Admiral Quack? Uh, how am I going to display it all together? Well, I'm looking around at what is what we have for displays, um, and I think I still I do want to adjust where some things are, where we're gonna put stuff. There are a couple of sets behind me that you can't always see. So we have our our bird of paradise. Hiding over here, we have the lunar rover. Along with Ecto-1, hiding behind me. Uh, you really want a burger, but we'll probably eat some grilled chicken and rice. Fair enough. Carp ODB. You old dirty bastard. How are you doing? Welcome. Thank you very much for the follow. Hope everybody's doing well today. Uh, can you somehow incorporate the printer into the model? This one is a little too small. I was thinking about what I could do to have like an enclosure for the printer to make it more space-like. That's a thought what we could do. No, 
it's uh, probably better to display it this way. Um, Borg, <laughs> Borg Lego. Maybe. I'm just a giant cube. That could be a possibility. Uh, you could 3D print something. I could commission someone to 3D print something. I do not own a 3D printer. Carp, hello. How are you doing? Thank you very much for joining us today. Playing in the drop game. And your first drop... Um, unfortunately, largely uneventful at the moment. But every 90 seconds, this does refresh so you can drop a new parachute. There's no limit to how many times you can participate every 90 seconds. Actually, no, technically it is once every 90 seconds, but you can just keep going. Uh, not too shabby, making some lunch. Excellent, excellent. What's for lunch? As much as I love talking about astronomy and Lego, the uh, next on the list is what people are eating. What are some of the delicious treats? M. Binda, Binda, how you doing today? Good to see you. Glad to have you in here with us. I'm doing well. I'm doing fantastic. It's Sunday. It's time for Lego. And you know, I've been looking forward to continuing this build all week. Whether or not we complete it is a totally different story. Because here we are on bag one, step 15. Um, and we're like two and a half hours in. <laughs> uh, some leftovers uh, from Scratch Mac and Cheese, the big... <gasps> sounds awesome that sounds fantastic all right so in terms of the size of this it's just a little too small but probably need to get more a larger a larger plate if we're going to build something legoy around the printer Build a smaller printer. Or buy a smaller printer. But I don't want to spend money on a printer. I want to spend money on telescopes and Lego. I hear something plastic crinkling. Oh, it's not a bag. That's fine. You're going for a full pastrami ham salami roast beef sandwich with smoked cheddar and stone ground mustard. <gasps> I think my mouth just watered a little bit. <laughs> that sounds delicious. At most, what we have here is um, some white bread with uh, with a roast beef luncheon meat, some pineapple, spicy pineapple mustard, and a ghost pepper for our offering today. If our counter that is impacted by bits and subs reaches zero. Currently, we are 5,011 5, points away from this ghost pepper. If we do reach it, fabulous. If we don't, that's fine as well. We are still building Lego no matter what. Are uh, you lucky to live close enough to an amazing deli? <sighs> You're not even making the sandwich yourself. Did you know? P you, people, do you know that... A sandwich tastes 200% better when somebody else makes it for you. Even if it's the exact same ingredients that you were going to put together yourself, it tastes so much better when somebody else makes a sandwich for you. So much so that a, a co-worker of mine who wanted to engage in a sandwich exchange program at work, so we essentially make each other's lunches just to enjoy the taste of a sandwich made by someone else. Uh, because when you're inhaling, you make a sandwich, you're inhaling all the scents. So you've, you've already become nose deaf to the, to the sandwich. A thousand percent agree. It's true. And the only way around it is to make yourself a sandwich the day prior. But then also according to CJ's um, theory, yes, you need to hold your breath. You need to hold your breath while you make your sandwich and then wrap it up tight in an airtight container. Uh, 
Carp, you're a, little, you're a little hot this weekend. We are right now here in central Ontario. It is 10 degrees Celsius. It's cloudy. It is... I don't think we're raining. I don't think it's raining anymore. We had that all last night. But it is overcast. I don't know how well that the forecast is going to hold up for some clear skies tonight to do some astrophotography. But, you know, you do, rain or shine, it is always fun to be building a Lego set. So that is what we are doing today. And this is the the Lunar Research Base. And eventually, we will get all the pieces. Where it's going to be uh, displayed, I don't know yet. I think what I want to do after the stream is to kind of tidy up the office a bit. I feel like there have been some things just put here because, and then I'll clean it up after. Um, there's a couple other Lego boxes hanging around that we need to put away and organize. Uh, 10 Celsius, please send the weather south. I will do my best. If you have any clear skies, I will happily have a weather exchange program, if uh, if possible. Uh, but if I make it yesterday, then it's a day-old sandwich. Maybe you can make the sandwich tomorrow and eat it today. Maybe. But if you wrap it up, I've, I've done that. I've made my sandwich the night before because I, uh, I will help Mrs. Canuck get her uh, her lunches together so we can enjoy enjoy TV without worrying about other the next day's bologna. Uh, not a bologna sandwich, but just kind of getting things ready for, for Mrs. Canuck, and I will make myself a sandwich as well. And as long as you have, like, maybe just an eight-hour window in between sandwich eating, correct? Sandwich creating and eating, then it's okay. It doesn't taste quite like somebody else making you a sandwich, but it gets pretty damn close. Uh, you want to tell about Einstein's theory of relativity? Um, we'll save that for our astronomy chat. But if you could somehow get a future sandwich in your possession. Or the only way you could possibly do that is... No. No, I was going to say, if you make a sandwich on Tuesday, still calling it Tuesday's sandwich, but preserve it until the following Monday, then you're still eating Tuesday's sandwich because Tuesday, the next Tuesday hasn't happened. And it still counts within that seven-day period. Uh, somebody needs a, re a research grant for the sandwich. It, it's probably ridiculous enough to work. It just might be. Make it a one-time zone, eat it in another. Cross the international date line, and you're back in the past with a fresh new sandwich. <coughs> See, this is the thing. This is where this is where I like when topics go wildly off to one side or the other. Because now we're banging on about sandwiches. And now I want a sandwich. Now, call me silly, call me nerdy, call me a dork. But I, like these two little, where the hell did my face go? These two little pieces here. I'll bring my face back in a second. These two little safety rails. It, it, it tickles me. In a very, very good way. Not that kind of way. But it's the... Um, it almost seems out of place for LEGO to have safety rails. But they do. Snapcam likes to... Um, I don't know if it's the... If I was using a different camera, would it do the same thing as well? Or is it because I have essentially hacked this Canon DSLR to be able to use it as our webcam. I am inevitable. Alright, we're safe. We're good. Uh, 
Uh, good thing you've just eaten all this sandwich talk which makes you really hungry. It can. <laughs> it does. It has. Uh, Thanos was clearly using snap camera. Yes, and it crapped out just before he thought he was going to be victorious. Tracking at 83.78. Uh, sub 69, getting close. Let's see, have I? I haven't dropped this round. Let's see, let's see. Let us see where Optimus lines up. Oh, cool. All the, um, the little bag of tools. We get to place them everywhere. If, um, if we can open the bag. I am looking forward to the day we get that first set with the, with all the paper bags. It's, it's a rig system. Play at your own risk. Do you think? That's all. That's just, that's the question. Do you think? I mean, here's here's the conundrum. Here here's the theory. You 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 win in the drop game. You get a sub to the channel, but then I need to fork over the dough. However, you guys get ad free viewing and some cool emotes. At least I think they're cool. Then you get to join in, but it's always free to watch. The game is always free to play. Uh, paper bags. It will be. They've they've started doing it, and <clears throat> they have started um, making sets with paper bags. And some of the the bigger plates are in uh, in paper packaging now. And some of the, soon the plastic inserts will be uh, recyclable paper, which is a fantastic thing to to see them going down that route for sustainability. Uh, you use Twitch ad blocker, so you get uh, ad free viewing anyway. Well, there you go. Uh, someone gave you subs, so there's that too. You d doubly protected against the the adverts. These are like very, very specific tools that they have created for the set. If it wants to focus, like a socket wrench. Um, a monkey wrench. Like, even with a little twisty deal on there. Double protection is... <laughs> uh, CJ, is your head exploding at the moment? How far can we go down that rabbit hole? Uh, wonderful Lego sets being plastic is not so bad because you just don't throw them out. But yes, exactly. But there, it's not like you know, I'll, I'll. I don't. Most of the time, I have the bags kept in the in the boxes. Other times, yeah, I'll uh, I'll throw them in recycling. Where's this one? This one just sits in between. And then the oil can just sits on the ground. Right? That seems like it's uh, someone's gonna trip on it. Someone's gonna trip on that thing and they're gonna fall down in space and there's where are you gonna take them? You gonna take them to the space hospital? No, we don't even have a hospital built yet. Why would they do such a thing? Why would they make more tools than you have spaces for? Who built this thing? Who designed this space station? Why would they do that? Clearly they weren't thinking. Do we have enough space for the tools? Maybe we should have made the research base a little larger so we have enough space for the oil can. 
Uh, they would 100% a doctor on that mission. What if it's the... <laughs> what if it's the doctor that falls down on this thing and trips and sprains his ankle? Who's going to treat the doctor? So far, I haven't seen a doctor on the staff yet. Actually, we have a whole bunch of of, uh, of explorers from the other sets. Actually, if there's going to be anybody who's going to um, who's going to trip and fall and be a klutz, it's going to be me. It will be space me. That's who's going to be a, a klutz in space. Leave it to me to trip over a stupid oil can. Requiring us to get the space doctor. Ooh, and now we get to enclose everything in rocks. I kind of feel like this is, I don't want to say it's a waste of, like, a chunky, blocky brick of, of space, because essentially this is, looks like we're kind of almost in the, in the lunar regolith itself. So now we've kind of built the station into the, into the rock a little bit. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how the rest of the build goes, if there are uh, some features that get added in here. Would be interesting to. Uh... Oh no, that doesn't go there. It goes up here. Everybody gets locked into place. You sit across here, and then you're dropping in. Yeah, keep us all stuck together. Uh, <laughs> Rig, nobody landed. Nobody landed. Uh, Nori, do you want to do a queued drop, perhaps? Maybe that might, um, by the by the collisions possible, everybody might get knocked into um, into the center. Maybe we might get like imagine getting like two or more landing in the center during a, a queued drop. All right, so we have some extra pieces. We have some extra bits. Adding to our bucket of spare pieces. We will keep those for a future creative build. We've got some hair in there as well. Um, Lego hair included. So yes, if one of the mods will do a drop, key, a queued drop, and then um, we can cause a little bit of havoc. Once this round is complete, we'll let this round finish off. And we'll move on to... On to bag four. So bag four includes this piece. As well as everything else in this bag. Uh, you're on bag, bag 28 right now. Are you building a set too? Which one are you on? What are you building today? Or would it be that the fact that you would be... Everybody, everybody else would be finished this set. 
long before I would be. But we'll move on to bag number four for the Lunar Research Base. And really start getting this, um, this set to start taking form so we can begin constructing the the, the hallways of the, the other pods. Uh, building a life-size replica of Ferrari F40. Really? That'd be kind of cool. That'd be pretty sweet, actually. All right, so some of these some of these pieces were actually used in the um, in the International Space Station build as well. So it's kind of cool to see them utilizing similar bits and pieces to create the the look and feel of a space station like place. There's a lot of stuff on the desk. And here's another thing why I was saying I wanted to um, tidy things up a bit. <clears throat> Actually, let me place these two pieces and I'm just going to stand up and stretch because looking at the time, it has been a little while. Hazards, how you doing today? Welcome. Welcome. Good to see you. He is greatly appreciative of uh, of the gifted sub from Gandalf. Lovely to see you on the, the receiving end of the gift sub. Got some new emotes. Oh, there's some new, uh, two new follower emotes. You have the chance to vote whichever one is going to tickle your fancy, be it the original G1 Optimus Prime or perhaps the War for Cybertron. Whichever one tickles your fancy. You have the chance to vote by utilizing that emote, and that'll become a new animated emote on the stream from June 1st. All right. Um, now open these pieces. I'm just going to stand up and stretch for a minute because it has been. I'll stand up and stretch for some celebration for Ray. What's going on, Ray? Welcome in, Raiders. How are you doing today? Thank you for joining us. Your nerdy girl, how you doing? Zach M. Rutledge. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. T.O. Revic, how you doing? Welcome. Thank you so much for joining in on the raid. Glad to have you all in here. Your nerdy girl, what's going on? John Stupp. Good to see you. Ray, how is your stream? How were things today? What were you building? Is it Trevic or is it Revic? Which one do you like? Which one do you go by? Okay, thank you so much for joining us today. Says we've got a shout out for Ray RS25. Uh, Torovic is your surname. Oh, okay, I got you. I didn't know if the, the zero was a placeholder or, or or what. Well, glad to have you guys in here tonight. Tonight, it's not tonight. I wait tonight for some people. Well, welcome in. My name is Tom. I am the Astro Canuck. It is my pleasure to share my love of astronomy with you as often as we can. And today we are continuing our build of the Lunar Research Base. We are on bag four. We started with bag three. And like three hours later, we've gotten about this far. Who is a slower Lego builder? Is it myself or Zach M. Rutledge? Imagine actually building on a Lego strip. But good to see you all in here today. I am inevitable <sighs> Amish Ace Am <laughs> Amish Ace wins 
But wonderful to have you guys in here. Can we also get a shout out for for Zach M. Rutledge, as well as your nerdy girl. Legendary Diamond, how you doing? Good to see you as well. Thank you so much for joining in on the raid. I'm glad to glad to have you in here. A shout out as well for Legendary Diamond. We have there a, there are some fantastic legal communities. And discovering so many awesome people is what I love about the outreaching community and the 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 uh, the meshing of so many other streams. I think it's fantastic. That was good to have you in here. Good to have you all in here today. It is Sunday. It is time for Lego. Now, right now, the weather here in central Ontario is pants. It's the worst. It sucks. It's the drizzly shits. However, when we do have some clear skies, we'll be taking images of outer space. We'll be sharing them with you live and in color. Torvik, thank you so much for the follow. And Quagsire, for fourth Smashwald. Smashwald. Quagshire, thank you very much for the follow as well. Glad to have you in here with us. So, for those of you who are joining in, we have two new follower emotes. If you're following on the channel, you can use these two emotes. These two versions of Optimus Prime. To vote for which one is going to be your favorite, which one is going to be the new sub, the new animated emote to our channel. Whichever one has the most votes by the end of the month will have the honor of becoming our new animated emote. Now, these were created not too long ago, um, earlier this week. So there is the, the G1s, the War for Cybertron style, as well as the original G1 Optimus Prime. Whichever one tickles your fancy, whichever one will represent the leader of the Autobots, will be the one we choose. You're old school, so you're going with the G1 Prime. Perfect. Excellent. White Star Flower, how you doing? I was going to say something about the UK being the best for viewing the skies lately. It, the, the UK used to be my skies. We used to have them, but now moving back to Canada, we are, at best, we have some low light pollution in our area. So a big improvement on that. Rexy, hello, how you doing? Good day. Good day to you. So yes, one of these two will be one of our new emotes. And whichever one it's going to be, I'll be happy to animate it. So it looks like Prime is talking. Uh, tough one, but you, you're going to go with that. It's I like the detail in the war in the, uh, the Cybertron version, but I mean, I grew up with this Optimus. So that is my one of my favorites and it might be I might be a little biased today on the drop game maybe next week I'll switch it over to the other one we're very glad to have you in here yes um, white star flower how have you been I guess so last time oh my goodness wow it has been a while good to see you in here again good to see you back I moved back to Canada in July of, uh, of this past year we're coming up on a year Almost, but um, yeah, moved back from from the UK into Canada, and you know we, where we're living right now, we have great access to more of the night sky, so we can share more targets more often, or we can just kind of take a look at the moon, and I will unabashedly moon you. So, whichever, whichever works best. As always, we have our drop game. Exclamation point drop gets you in on there. A chance to win a gifted sub to the channel. You can impact the drops with utilizing the, the parachute droplets. If you want to be the savior or one of the most despised channel point redeemers on the channel for possibly ruining somebody's chance at a good drop. You never know what it's going to be. The drops giveth, the drops taketh away. Uh, what do you think? That wiggle emote, I gotta say, that is Rexy's wiggling dinosaur. Uh, Zier's twerking coffee cup are right now two of my favorite emotes that we see. Oh no, Rexy! 
<laughs> You're going for a decent drop. And the droplets. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Not going anywhere. Perfect. Now keep it. It's so cute. It is very cute. Rexy almost had it. And then the droplets. So it could have either been Carp's or Josh's droplets as well. Could have been mine. But it is always free to play. So far, the game, has, the drop game, has been teasing. It has teased some victories today, but so far, it hasn't given away any gifted subs at the moment. But there's always the chance. So what? Uh, sorry, uh, Ray. What were you building today? If you said it and I missed it, I apologize. <laughs> what was? Uh, how did the stream go today? You were talking about, um, were you still, uh, okay, I, I just scrolled back up. I was going to say, were you still building the pickup truck or have you moved on to um, to the next set? Pickup truck and stream went amazing. Awesome. Excellent to hear. Now, if you guys haven't been checking out, Ray RS25. Ray is brand new, fresh faced here on Twitch and has quickly amassed his, uh, at least a one third of his prerequisite for reaching that affiliate status, at least getting over 50 followers. So, but tune in, go say hello, go hang out. Check out some, some fun Lego builds and that, that pickup truck looks awesome. If I had a red pickup truck, I like to try to connect myself with as many of the Lego builds as possible so that we can so I have a little bit more of that. Like, like I like a connection with the cosmos. I like my connection with Lego. So uh, you got the affiliate. Oh, excellent. Congratulations. Congratulations, Ray. That's awesome. That's amazing to hear. Wonderful, wonderful. What the heck is mine doing? Oh boy. All right, well, we are working on the, on the enclosure for our research base. Keep our astronauts safe. Although <clears throat> it looks like the limitations of Lego has a tiny little has a tiny little gap in the airlock here. <laughs> uh, due to the amazing LEGO community, well, thank you very much, LEGO community, for helping Ray reach that affiliate status. Lickety split. I'm right, looking forward to getting the double the XL pad. Excellent. I will let you know when that has left the, um, the I guess, this, the station, as it were. But also, yes, uh, Ray did win the um, the giveaway that we help that we hold whenever we reach a level five hype train. So this is the this is the desk mat that I've been using since December, and there has been no visible, no massive visible signs of wear. And because I, you can't see it right now, um, wait, maybe over here with the shoulder camera. This portion here, where my wrists rest on fairly frequently with every stream. It really isn't fraying. It's it has a little bit of wear, but nothing that's like oh that looks like garbage. So it is. Um, it's good. It, it is. It's it's thin, but it's dense and not too squishy, and it's good for absorbing some sound as well. Uh, your desk mat is covered in food and bits and. Come again. Airlock doesn't lock the air, more of a air releaser. Yeah, it's true. It's got it's it's more of a suggestion, really. I uh, can you use that pad um stream. I mean you can use it wherever you like. It works up very well. It is um I like it. it the the color is very nice. I was wor I, that's I wanted to make sure that I got one for myself if anybody was going to grab one or if it was going to be in a giveaway that so I can say, you know what? Actually, it's good. If not, I would say, forget it. Don't, don't bother with the stream elements merchandise, but 
It's good. I like it. I'm happy with it. So hopefully those who who would purchase any of the merch will be happy with it as well. Yes, this is like a this is like this is this airlock is like the blueberries on a shredded wheat box. I guess they just always have to be wearing their, their space helmets all the time. Except for except for Chris Hadfield. Except for Lego Chris Hadfield. He is invincible. Plus he has his little controller dealy thing. He can leave he has to leave his helmet off, so he's recognizable. That or it's Burt Reynolds, which, whichever, whichever route people want to to go. All right, we'll add a little, add a little detail onto the, the surface. So it's like they've they've kind of already dug into the lunar regolith to make this this hangar. Or those who came before them have uh, have carved carved out this space station so they're ready to go. Use as much of the landscape as possible. Or I'm like completely wrong, and this is like just more of the mechanics that will be unveiled as we we build more of the set. Natural on streaming. I I, have, I would have to agree with Torvik Ray. Um, you you come across very very easy to talk with on stream. So kudos to to your efforts. Because you know there's sometimes it's sometimes people can find it uh, a little maybe a little intimidating, a little daunting to be talking on stream and chatting with people and keeping up the conversations. And I gotta say that it's also learning to work on at least for me how I present, how I speak, and not using so much um, uh, eh, the, the weird little placeholder words that kind of muck up the, the, the flow of the presentation. So now you come across very, very natural, I do agree. Let's see if this might be, maybe we go, we build a little, left-handed, perhaps. Uh, you unfollow people who use more than 10 ums per stream. Oh, dear. I gotta watch. Then I, then I am supremely lucky that you stuck around, CJ. <laughs> I would think that the first time I, I watched... Watching back old VODs can be tough. And it's, it's a lot of people don't like listening to the sound of their own voice. Um, me included. It's just. Sometimes you, you, you overanalyze what you're saying. And I like to try to do a little bit of that so I can stop saying, um, uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> I really appreciate that. No, I'm working on that as well. The placeholder words. Hard to get rid of. You repeat a lot of the words yourself. I find I repeat words as well. I think. In a way, it can be helped to emphasize the importance of what you're stating. Other times, it might just be you're trying to get that thought out and that extra bit of pause. One thing I did pick up is once you're finished talking, is to close your mouth. So you, are, you aren't ready to just continue on saying a word. That way, you have finished your sentence, you have said what you want to do, and then you can say, um, in your head. Exactly. Nerdwino, how you doing? Welcome. Good to see you today. Andy! How are you doing, friend? Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
Nori, um, 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 um. I'm not going to say any more ums. Dang it, I said um again. Oh, I said um. Ugh, oh, crud. I got a hard time knowing what to say all the time. It keeps the, keep the flow. It's hard. Uh, both you and Ray just keep it going. It is just like, sometimes it can, yeah, it can be difficult. And trying to think of other things to say. I am inevitable. Or you get that good pause and let Thanos try to do his thing. Good to see you. Good to see you, Andy. Glad to have you here. Um is the new Morse code. It could be. If you take every um in a in a stream, do you find out what the secret word is for the day? You unveiled the secret void. You got a gifted sub to the channel. Uh, chat and Lego community again. Thank you. You guys are amazing. Have a great weekend. Ray, thank you so much for joining in. Heading off is greatly appreciated that you joined us and sent your community over. I appreciate it very, very much. Have a, a very good weekend yourself. Enjoy the remainder of your Sunday. We'll be back here hopefully tonight if the weather is going to cooperate with us. I don't. I don't know. It is, ugh, the. We we like to see green. We don't like this red and orange. I'll keep an eye on the weather. Sometimes it can be deceitful, in a good way. I'll keep an eye on it. If we do stream, we would be starting around ten. Around ten thirty ish, or maybe quarter after eleven. 10, no, sorry, no, sorry, quarter after 10 Eastern time. Are we observing clouds tonight? Possibly. I, I would rather not observe clouds. I would rather use the telescope. But uh, the weather Monday has changed as well. This is, ugh, this is pants. Hopefully, I don't want to say like next Saturday is going to be good because look at, we're, we're running out of Astro Dark. We're running very low. We have about four hours. Meteors, greater than meteorology. Exactly. And hopefully on the 31st, in the early mornings, from rolling from Monday to Tuesday, uh, we'll have a view of the Tau Herculeids meteor shower, which is supposedly going to be the greatest meteor shower ever. But it could also possibly be a huge dud. So it's, it's just waiting on, on that... And there are many factors that can impact the quality of a meteor shower. How dense of a cloud are we going through from the leftover debris of comets past? It really is. If I have clear skies for the meteor shower, I would definitely, I'll definitely be streaming. I'll definitely be sharing the sky. So much so that I am looking to grab a, a new outdoor camera that is better with the adapting to the dark and not having to get a, a brand new ZWO camera for all sky cams. So I will let you guys know for sure if we have some clear sky. Actually, throughout the way, like Tuesday, we're going to be talking about it. Friday, Saturday, next Sunday, we're still going to be talking about the, the upcoming meteor shower. So we'll keep an eye on the sky and that would kind of lead us into the end of the month, which is where we're at for the for the sub goal. If we reach the sub goal, what we'll be doing is rebuilding the Lego space shuttle, which was smashed uh, a couple months ago. That is a couple months ago, no, a couple months ago, a couple of months ago and building it in one stream, one session. We'll re rebuild the space shuttle and the Hubble Space Telescope until it is finished and rebuilt and ready to display on our shelf in our background somewhere once again. If we don't, that's fine. It's just a little goal that we have to work towards to let you guys know that what we're doing is, you know, is, is going to be going towards things. So hopefully, I mean, it is always free to watch the stream. It is always free to join in. We have follower emotes. 
that you can utilize for the stream that it doesn't require any subscription to the channel. This is for the opportunity of creating other content for the stream and just bringing you some different, different things that we like to do here. And if it means that we're going to sit down for hours on end and rebuild the Lego set for no smashing purposes whatsoever, for the satisfaction of completing a build and making it look pretty, then that's what we will do. I just got in there all of your Discord. Uh, that's what what you've been there a few few weeks. You've got to level three in the Discord Nitro. I never I never really got the concept of Discord Nitro. How does it work? Uh, you got a mug of tea. Mug of tea is great. I got a mug of coffee. Actually, we're kind of running low on coffee. <clears throat> but we'll have to. But we shall see. All right, I think we can switch over to this side and comfortably build it this way so we can see everything that's going on. And also realizing how much of my desk needs to be tidied up. I realize there are still some of the Monkey Kid Galactic Explorer bits and pieces that are kicking about here that I need to add over to the Galactic Explorer, which is behind me, and get that properly on display because the Lego Home Alone set is kind of keeping it afloat. And come July, we definitely have to move that box so we can build Lego Home Alone. Celebrating Christmas in July. We'll do some Christmas themed redeems that we had previously in December. So those will return. We will we will don our red beard for the stream as well. So we will I, I finally figure out when we have an appropriate time to use this. We did hit a sub a, a while back. And so for the, the sake of for the sake of some fun on the stream during our Christmas streams, we will have a our beard diet, our beard. This is as much your beard as it is mine, because a lot of people do hang out when they lurk. But we will dye our beard red for our for Christmas in July. And build the, the 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 very one of the largest sets to date of the Lego Home Alone. So, Nerduino, how are things... We, we were talking last night about... Um, dang it, I said, um... Talking about last night with your astrophotography challenge for utilizing your mobile phone to take images of the night sky. We did have a couple of people asking about how much can you see. Thank you. <laughs> what, what, what are you doing? Oh, oh, I gotta do this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a stormtrooper. I can't hit. Oh, dang, I don't have my access to the button. this the <laughs> if you put it on the shopping list <laughs> i put one single solitary grape on the shopping list just so you know i i did five grapes you stole the grape, <laughs> stole the grape. <gasps> yeah stolen grapes um what well that was in my profile <laughs> hmm <laughs> good Baba Zelig, what's going on, Ma? How are you doing? Oh, boy. All right. Okay, so we got some presents. 
Tencel, hello, how you doing? Welcome. Somebody called the grape police. No! No. No. <laughs> uh, good, you bought ribs. Ooh, excellent. So this was the... Uh... <laughs> what do we got here? We got, we got some hot sauces with stormtroopers on it. So why not? Uh, I just got graped in the mouth. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what are in these sauces? So we have Red Hot Lava Flow, Diablo Kaboom, Habanero Heat Wave, and Garlic Habanero. All right, so some, some, some fairly middle-of-the-road spicy sauces, but, you know, it had a Stormtrooper on it. Why not, right? <laughs> Uh, for ni ni nitro, I was gonna say neutrino. For nitro, if you go to level two or three, you can uh, you can add icons for the rolls and banner, and your own URL. If you're oh, I see, I see. All right. Well, there we go. We 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 are refreshed with coffee. We have some stormtrooper hot sauce. Be interesting. I'll give them a taste. We'll try them out. Right, but the, the important thing is, we have we have a refresh on coffee. I just put some good sauce on your mac and cheese with scorpion, ghost, and habanero. Ooh, very nice. <clears throat> uh, what was I going to ask about the photo? Phone? Yes. Um, well, you can you can pump it up a little bit on here and talk about it because. Somebody was asking about how they can do astrophotography without a telescope. And they said all they had was a cell phone. I'm like, that's perfect. A cell phone is a great starter to take some wide, supremely wide field images of the night sky. That sounds like a, a sharp and long lasting burn with that hot sauce carp. That sounds delicious. Yeah, my, how you doing? How are you? Uh, let's see, what's this one? Yeah, we were just talking in chat the other day and how much equipment people think you need to do astrophotography. Exactly, you don't actually need a great deal. You can spend as little or as much as you want on astrophotography. Uh, a little goes a long way. It's pretty thick. This one, this is a pretty thick sauce as well. The seven pot chocolate dougla. Yeah, it's kind of settled on here. Actually, I should probably have turned it upside down. Get that last vestige of hot sauce out of here. And then we have a fresh bottle. That awaits. <clears throat> so we decided to try and prove that you have everything you need to do for astrophotography in your pocket. Exactly. It is. It, it's not going to be that completely dead easy. You can't throw. The problem is the only some of the limitations that come with imaging with your phone is the filter status is cutting out light pollution. That can be tough. However. You can still get some good images, even in some fairly light polluted areas. You just need to be a little patient and try out some different imaging techniques. And it can be done with a with your cell phone, taking images of outer space. Now, I need to I, I need to go back and pull up those images that I've taken with my phone so I can share and let you guys see. Just in case you haven't had some clear skies yourself the only rules the only rules for this competition is you are uh, you can only use your cell phone and whatever cameras it has you can use a tripod and support your device but no motorized mounts telescopes etc and because the cell phone has such a large uh, such a wide field of view it like the earth's rotation doesn't always you don't always have to account for that because it is such a a wide field of view can be very forgiving 
with your with your imaging. Where does this one go? It's going here. Stacking of images is allowed. Im image manipulation in Photoshop or whatever is also fine. Now, by image manipulation, you I mean like highlighting the areas. You're not actually adding um, anything into the image that hasn't already been there. Like you're just you're you're editing and highlighting certain bits of the data that already exists, right? Just to be clear. This, I gotta say, actually, this whole setup is, uh, this would lend itself well to a camera that kind of sits, like, level with the, uh, with the build itself. And I've seen a couple of people start to utilize the belly cam, as it were. But right now, the way how my desk is set up, I don't have a way to clamp anything on here to have a camera at the belly button level. So we'll play with the with the angles for now. And then eventually we will come up with a with a solution. But I'm liking this. I like I like how this set is uh starting to look building into the building into a portion of the moon. So if you're to maybe create a diorama not to be confused with what would happen after the stream with all the spicy sauce. And you can create a very interesting look for all the, for the build. This is going here. For example, you can combine two images that you took with your phone in Photoshop or play with the contrast, etc. No adding artificial objects or that kind of editing. There we go. Thank you for the clarification also do you have a do you have more details on this with your discord because if we're going to be if i'm going to be directing people i would direct them over to your discord for for more details so under doing if you you do want to drop your discord link in the chat that would be appreciated <clears throat> you add artificial objects to your why not organic Homegrown organic grapes. I... <laughs> and that's grapes. Grapes. Raisins. They're grapes. So there is a second level that seems to have more of an enclosed habitat on the on the research base. So I imagine we're probably going to be coming across some vegetables a little later. CJ. And those will be the astronauts or the uh, the researchers that are without their helmets on. I don't think they even get to have a helmet. They only have to get like emergency helmets. So no floating Wendy's space station. Well, I mean, if you can get a decent frosty, that's okay. But no. <clears throat> Pardon me. But I would encourage people to take a very broad view of astrophotography. If it's in the night sky, it's fair game. Without giving people ideas, think about landscapes, reflections, planets. And planets are going to be very bright. Actually, we're rolling into, into June. We're going to start seeing on the horizon towards the east in the early morning hours, you are going to start to see all of the planets in our solar system lining up in the early morning hours. Something like that would be a supremely interesting wide, view, wide field of view. Now, you wouldn't be able to capture the detail, the very specific details of the planets. However, being able to see the light emitted reflected from the planets will be a uh, an interesting sight to see and people in there you could and kind of a step further beyond 
the the contest itself would be looking at the planets, but then also being able to image them with a larger telescope up close, showing the details of each planet. You have just discovered there is such a thing as a three-foot sausage roll. Take it away, CJ. Is it from Greg's? Please tell me Greg's has a three-foot sausage roll. Please, oh, please, oh, please. Uh, my legal counsel has told me not to comment. <laughs> All right. All right, for now, CJ Laufeyson pleads the fifth. All right, there's the... Uh... It's not Greg's. Is it Costco? Is it a Costco thing? Two little clips go up here. Two little clips went out to play upon the lunar station today. The Discord is that link there. And there's a channel called Contest. So there you go. If you want to check out, check out Nerduino's Discord for more details on the Astro Imaging Contest. Oops, no, that does not go there. That does not go there. It goes over here. And then we got some lights. Uh, there's a one there's one foot long in Morrison's. Who has the who has the three foot sausage roll? You're keeping me in suspense here, Andy. I mean a foot long a foot long sausage roll, that's you know, that's you kind of see those every day, right? But to have a You should have gone for the head. <laughs> ah jeez. Ah jeez. Ah crap. Ah crud. A uh, dang. The coffee's still hot. It's still hot coffee. Uh, we'll have a cool prize to be determined. I'm hoping to buy a really cool astro photo print for, for the winner from one of the folks right here that sell their work. Uh, Tim Hortons, after all these years, still, still the drink, still the first coffee you need to get on a road trip. Uh, a restaurant has uh, three. Oh, okay, so they they would they would not dare ask anybody to walk around town holding a three foot sausage roll. Although, it, you probably have to eat it pretty darn quick. How is your Hanau? How has your Sunday been going? So I saw you drop the uh, the sorry emote early on today. At the top of the at the top of the hour, good to see you in here. Yeah. Oh boy. I wonder what else I could add to the to the deep air. What else I can do to it? Because this is a bit of a 
earlier channel point redeem. Entries are due by the 30th of June. We'll announce the winner of stream uh, Friday, July 1st. Sounds good. Scalping your backyard and your old and your old man body aches. Otherwise, great. Excellent. So it's always nice to be able to to tidy up the the back garden. Uh, right now, uh, unfortunately, holy it's, potatoes! It's raining, and well, it's more of a gloomy day altogether. With the slight possibility of having some decent skies later tonight. Carlitos, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, judging will be a combo of votes from everyone in the channel and an expert panel of judges. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't mute my microphone. Carlitos, good to see you in here. Uh, I can check that out later, Andy. Thank you. Uh, anyway, thanks for letting me plug. No worries. Hopefully everyone can have a little bit of fun with it. I think so. I think it'd be great. Uh, I will also make a chat timer as well with the link to your Discord. So for those who want to join in on the competition and take some astro images with your camera, just with the, the bare minimum to enjoy astrophotography. And also, speaking of a terrible segue, this is the only spare piece we have from this bag. Into the bucket of spare pieces. Growing with some very interesting parts in here. Some limited edition pieces as well. So I'm excited to see what we can build out of the, all of these spare bricks and pieces. Um, so there we go. Stream has been going well, Carlitos. Good to see you in here. It has been very, very fun with our lunar research base. What time is it now? One thirty. Let's move on to let's do let's move on to this bag, and then we'll we'll see how we are for time. On to on to bag five. Plus two other pieces. Two of the larger portions of the external habitat. It feels like it's kind of... I don't want to say it's cheating for having these larger pieces, the, the pre-molded bits. But it's like, it's a... It's a fair chunk of stuff that just... Anyway... All right, well, let's get let's get our bag open. Extra pieces means over engine maneered. Exactly, it's it's spare parts for later. It's all the the bonus little little tidbits. All right, that's everybody out of here. There we go. Back in the box you go. But this is our build today, and <laughs> and most likely looking like next week's as well is the Lunar Research Module, or sorry, the Lunar Research Base, my apologies, which does connect to the to the Lunar Rover, which we built a couple of weeks ago, three weeks ago now. So this is what we are we're building today. We are starting on this portion of the module now. Killian, how you doing? Uh, for your three foot long sources, for your, sorry, your three foot long sausage roll, you can check out that link that, uh, that Andy dropped in the chat. All right, let's get these little. There's a lot of tiny pieces in this one. Uh, doing well, but to order some food. Not sure what though. Well, uh, if we could help you out with any of that situation. Killian, we were talking about sandwiches earlier. And you know what? It was there were some good ideas about ingredients for sandwiches and how sandwiches taste better 
when somebody else makes it for you, no matter what the ingredients. Or even if you're going to make your if if you make yourself a grilled cheese sandwich and somebody else makes you a grilled cheese sandwich, the other grilled cheese sandwich is going to taste way better, no matter what, using the exact same ingredients. Even like you measure out the the amounts for a sandwich, it's going to taste better from somebody else. Uh, Liverpool Comic Con. I have been to a couple of comic conventions. Some have been better than others. Sometimes it felt like there was no real comics actually happening. It was just people dressing up and you really can't actually buy a comic at a comic con sometimes. Uh, these are the facts. It's quite true. It is like you try it out for yourself. The, the, be the closest a the closest uh, workaround you can get is to make yourself a sandwich the night before. So Sunday night's Killian will make a sandwich for Monday morning's Killian and it will taste almost as good as somebody else making a sandwich for you. It's not exactly the same as somebody else, but you get pretty darn close. And I think if there's any kind of, if that's the best hack that we can do, then that's what we're going to do. That or with a with a friend or a coworker, just engage in a sandwich exchange program. And just give uh, just give the menus to each other. And there you go. Delicious sandwiches. Handmade. You haven't had the chance to smell your sandwich yet, so. Okay, I'm looking for like one single print it looks like it should be a printed piece but hopefully your weekends have been going well for those who are just joining us for those who are new to the channel and thinking what's going on here with all this lego building well first of all we have a tiny printed piece of a cell phone because you need your cell phone on the moon you wouldn't want to miss any any game of wordle while you're on the moon So she is ready to go for her research. Once we build this portion of the habitat, then, then she can safely utilize. Actually, so far the coolest thing out of the whole build has been this claw machine. This, this the drone with a claw. And being able to pick up Lego pieces. Like, that is the coolest thing. And it can retract, it can descend. So like that is, that is pretty cool. Hang on, let's see. I ended up going with Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Ooh, what, what does Tropical Smoothie Cafe have to offer? Is it smoothies uh, mostly, or what are their treats they offer does that look a little look a little soft all right step number 61 boom there we go that was easy could imagine mucking up that step oh So for those of you who are also just joining, you may you may notice that we have a couple new follower emotes. And they are there are two versions of Optimus Prime. Celebrating the upcoming purchase, the celebration of reaching our one of our, our bit goals for the Optimus Prime Lego set. And one of the one of those two will become a new animated emote on stream. So whichever one gets the most usage in the next two weeks, is it two weeks or is it a week and a bit? In the next 10 days, up until 11.59 p.m. on the 31st of May, that is a Tuesday, you have the chance to, you have the opportunity of utilizing the emotes and whichever one has the most usage will become our new animated emote the other one relegated to the to the ether essentially 
never to be seen again. The artwork, maybe I'll even delete everything to do with that emote, as if it never existed at all. And then one of them will be our new emote. And then we'll order Optimus Prime at 12 a.m. Eastern Time. And then we will build Leader of the Autobots. Make an NFT and sell it for millions. I mean, Hasbro would probably have something to say about that. Just saying. Although I am more of a beg for forgiveness than ask for permission kind of deal. Uh, will I be making an NFT? Most likely not. I know some people have said, oh, want to make uh, some NFTs of your uh, images of space. I'm thinking a lot of people have images of space. I uh, was looking for some dramatic copyright free music for games and stuff, and out of nowhere, this piece of music came on. You're like, that's Astro's theme. I've heard, I don't know if it was this one. Um, I don't know if it was this music or it was another one that was in Vicious Llama Attack on Xbox, and I was like, oh, I recognize that music. Uh, if you make NFTs, you'll be gone. Then I, sorry, CJ, I can't get rid of you. Now, I, it, it's... Now, for me, I don't see the... Personally, I don't see the value in an, in an NFT. I still don't quite get it either. And if I if I'm not understanding how to utilize an NFT, then I don't even want to bother with it. I am happy I am happy to do this. What we're doing right now. Hanging out with, with you guys, creating this time that can never be replicated. You know, and if I end up deleting a VOD here and there, then that's it. You are here for this single experience, and that's it. All part of the scam hype of crypto. It's I, I don't I don't see the value in that. Plus, it's like if, if you're selling images of space, you know, it, it's not just me doing it. It's not just one other person taking images of space. There's a whole bunch of other people doing that. The only thing I could say that would be that couldn't be replicated again are some like variants that could occur. But even then, it's now. Nah. I, I, I personally, for, for making an NFT, don't see how that benefits us. Doing things like this, like funding Lego builds and just hang it out, this is what I find to be valuable. And whether or not the drop game will give away any gifted subs today is totally up to the to the algorithms within within the build. All right, we have some more. We've been finding a lot of bacteria on the moon. We've been discovering a lot of this. But again, it's awesome to have the, the printed brick pieces. Way better than... I could not imagine putting the sticker on one of the small pieces. Oh! <gasps> Oh my goodness, this is so cool. I don't know if... Um, I don't know if uh, Science Streams is hanging around at the moment. And usually I wouldn't be one to call out anybody who's lurking because that is your, that is your thing to do and yours alone. But what we're building at this very moment... Space bacteria, hopefully it's not the Andromeda strain. I love the Andromeda strain. I love the book. I liked the mini series that popped up on TV. Speaking of things that are lovely, what's going on, Scotty Rotten? How you doing, dude? Good to see you. Call out the lurkers, will ya? <laughs> For, for the sake of science. Yeah, we're doing that. 
But how are you doing today? How has your weekend been, Scotty? All settled in for the for the May 2 4? Uh, the McPlant are amazing. Uh, you've just been told that it's uh, it's Mackey's for dinner tonight, and you're going to and you're going all you're going for is the McPlant. Interesting. So the uh, they're veggie based burger, eh? I have noticed that they're uh, the, the flavors of the flavor of vegetable based products has greatly improved. I believe in science. Uh, working this weekend, one more night. Fair enough. Well, if we could uh, get some time to relax when you can. But there we go. We have a little microscope. Look at the microscope. This is so cool. Hey, focus on the microscope. Don't look at the ghost pepper. Look at the microscope. Uh, the vegan sausage roll from Greg's was great. You'd uh, you'd use more than your mouth to eat it, CJ. <laughs> oh, oh my good! This is this is looking so. Oh my. Okay, I'm getting overly excited for this. <laughs> we have a. We have an Erlenmeyer flask. Is this an Erlenmeyer flask? It's not a graduated cylinder, is it? it? Focus. So this is... This connects over here. This then sits over top. And we are now doing experiments with the bacteria. And hopefully, yes, not Nick, hopefully not the Andromeda strain. That's cool. I, that that is that is swiftly risen to the top of my favorite element here. Maybe like top three. Yes, we have tomorrow off, so it is um, visiting with with Mama Canuck and just hanging out a little bit of uh, maybe a little bit of barbecue, maybe just a little bit of takeaway to enjoy. Enjoy the time. And then weather weather permitting, we'll be back Monday evening to to do some live imaging if the skies are going to be cooperative. If not, don't know. They could do anything. Let's see if we can impact Nick's drop here. Nope, didn't work. Didn't help. Okay, so we get uh, this is use. I like the uh, utilizing some of the technic pieces to create the build. We'll see how this all. Again, it's not very like there's some gaps in the some gaps in the habitat. That's not going to be good for keeping the air in with your bacteria experiment. I'm thinking that you're probably going to have a bad time. Oh. Wait, oh, there's a... I'm thinking, is there a second? Th this large piece, and we're... We're missing where it goes. Okay, in... In the bottom, we'll stick this one. Excuse, there we go. Bit of a. All right. Also, if if I pay attention properly to the to the build, there we go. All right, you start ready for September. You're away on a plane. Where are you aiming to go? 
Yeah, uh, also you are not obligated to say where you're going, but exciting, exciting stuff to be heading off on a plane. That is the right position for everything, yes. Uh, you're going to Budapest. Ooh. Very cool. I have not had the the pleasure of visiting visiting Budapest. And making sure we're using the yeah, the right lights in here. Well that sounds like it'd be exciting there, Andy. <laughs> As Mrs. Canuck and I spent our time in the UK, we did a lot of touring early on in the uh, the first couple of years that we stayed. As we figured that it wasn't going to be, we were, you know, we were going to be there for like two years, and that was about it. And then it turned into a much longer stay, which then turned into being more, just more citizens around and not taking the opportunities to go visiting around other other countries so it's always it isn't you know as tough as it can be right now it's very important to to part of me to travel and see and have like new experiences uh, first time in two years on a plane boy like I say when I when I flew back to Canada that was like the, the one of the longest gaps of being on a plane I think it was the better part of like maybe three and a half years since I'd gone on a, a flight. So it was a, a bit of a different experience on the plane than we were used to. Alright. You, need, you don't need to get too specific with your with your details there, Andy, but that's cool. <laughs> Alright, we need to build two feet for the bot going for the... the I think that the, the bot is probably one of the... Well, because it, it starts off the drop, that is probably one of the, the account that has the most gifted subs associated with it so cheers chat can give cheers to the astro canuck bot i will still admonish it for for charging so much money planes from manchester fly over your flat i uh, be sure to give him a wave or flash your ghost pepper peanuts Alright, this module is slowly starting to become a little more sealed up, easier to, to breathe within. Keep your experiments safe. Alright. Oh, we're gonna have to put a sticker. Oh, we're gonna have to put a sticker on here. Now, I did see a interesting sticker technique from Amish Ace. I'm not going to be employing it today, but it involves using Windex on your stickers which is a, a very interesting technique to use. As it helps eliminate any bubbles, leaves a, a nice smooth surface from the sticker itself. But I do not have any Windex available at the moment. Where am I set up for that? But it, it looks, I mean, it just seems so much easier because you can move, you still have that, you have that time to move your sticker around. Like, I thought just kind of picking it up with your, with your brick separator was revolutionary. And then Amish Ace comes and drops his information. I thought that was, uh, it was, it was mildly mind blasting. Like, my, my brain shook a little bit, gently quivered. 
at what is possible for sticker applications. Oh, speaking of sticker applications, we have a sticker to apply. And it's a round one. So yes, I thought doing something like this, courtesy of, uh, of more and more mentioning it. Wait, which way is it going? Oh, I need to make sure that it's on. On a bit of a tilt. Like, I, I, it's, I'm happy with how this goes, right? Like, it still looks all right. But again, to be able to move. <clears throat> uh, you've just accidentally sent a naked photo of yourself to everyone in your address book. Not only is it embarrassing, it's going to cost a fortune in stamps. Wait a freaking second. <laughs> have they seriously... They have. They t what is the point of this? I am very confused. This is very weird. Why? Why, why, oh why? They A green and red transparent bricks okay and then we proceeded to put this on top with the logo and you, you you can't see anything you cannot see the red or green bricks why would they do that why not just use some plain white bricks i mean i like that on, on the airlock here you have your red and green light right and then they they a freaking Lego. What are you doing to my brain? Stop it. Get some help. Maybe. May, uh, it's it, it seems a little confusing because if we take it apart during play, it will pull. It could pull these other elements away. But to what end? <laughs> Dang it, Lego. I need to know. You need to, please, please tell us why. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a milkshake. Tell me why. Gotta use my car's handbrake. Okie dokie. More stickers, and these ones are, are th unfortunately, these ones kind of shipped a little bent. So hopefully I can see there's already a bit of a, a crease in the sticker. Annoying. So let's, let's see if we can make the most this is where that windex would really come in handy otherwise you are you are committed at one point to drop that sticker on and hopefully everything is nice and neat okay not too bad not too bad. You, you can, you you know the crease is there. Unfortunately, I don't want to start mucking about with that too much. Okie doke. I would also like to get rid, to, to utilize our bent pieces like right away, so they're not staring at me as we um, as we continue our build.
Not too bad. Not too bad. I will I will accept that as well. I'll let it slide. Now to see that these just end up being solar panels that clip on top. And that's that. Why they just I don't know. But yay, yay for it. I'm always nervous about the stickers. Am I going to muck it up? Are we going to lose it? Will it be just sitting off the edge and you can never, ever make it sit perfectly again? Because you can't unseat these stickers once they've been placed. It just looks like garbage. Satellite. And all right, good, good, good. I guess so we have an extra piece. Maybe we could put the the extra piece on top of Will this fit on the end of the satellite? No, it won't. All right. That goes here. I was going to say, where where is this piece going? If you pay attention to the instructions. And we pop it on there. And we have a satellite that will easily turn and point for communications so they can relay their messages back about how stupid it is to have the transparent green and red stickers hiding underneath a opaque piece of On that goes. So. So really, no. I feel like we cover up way too much in here. Maka, how you doing? Afternoon to you. Good to see you. How are things? Yes, we have you too. You as well can have a command. For a, for one month, you get whatever you would like on this display board seen here, hanging behind me here all time throughout the stream, at least four days a week. Share what your message is, get a shout out, like Maccabill sharing his love of Top Gun. We'll create something cool with Lego. But good to see you in here. How are things? Also, I don't know if we did this for you, Scotty. A fellow Canadian, a fantastic Lego builder, a tremendous community, and just a really just cool vibes to hang out in. Go check out Maccabills. Go check out Scotty Rodden. Awesome members of the of the Lego community. And then this just plugs in here. And there we go. So, so okay. So what if we... Okay, so pull... Oh, that's there. We That's... That's not too bad. At least for the playability of popping this part off. And let's, let's throw her in here. And... Let her do some of the, the research required on this bacteria. Save the save the moon. Although it's probably it'll probably tell me to throw them up in the Oh crud. What did I drop? Oh she dropped your phone. Alright, maybe maybe you put your phone down, lady. Uh, you have the the rover and the space station, but not this one yet. No, I I, I would say that's uh, the all caps is welcomed excitement. So yes, the, the one of the coolest things in here 
not only the safety rails, I mean, I like that aspect, but also the, uh, the bacteria experiment that they have going on inside this portion, inside this module. So the cool thing about this is that it does connect with the lunar rover. There is the, the other side of the build, which will be bags six and seven. Pardon me. Um, that will be able to connect to the lunar rover and over to the side portion of it. Again, increasing the amount of the cross playability with these sets and kind of ultimately culminating in our build eventually with the rocket launch center, which would get everybody to this point from the Artemis One missions. And just trying to figure out where we're going to display this is maybe I'll maybe I'll just have another table over here, perhaps. We have to find more. I I have an idea. I have an idea that should work and will work, but it's going to be on another stream when we do that. <clears throat> so we have 2 p.m. I think what we're going to do, see, because we have, there is two more bags remaining and we did essentially kind of, I would say two and a half bags today. Hello there kids, it is an astronaut Tim Peak. Ask me a question. The bit on the other side of the front cover. This this part here, the um this part? Nori has taken this part. Or do you want the... Or do you want this part, CJ? Do you want the bit on the other side of the back cover? Is it this side? Look. Look at that. That one. All right. This is like the easiest read from this book ever. Front of the back cover or the yeah, front of the back cover. CJ, the front of the back cover, a coveted place of the cover, the last thing you would read inside of the book, dedicated to CJ Lauvison. For all time, because this book is completely invincible now, it is almost completely covered in post-it notes. I need to get some tape. Well, thank you. Thank you, CJ, for the redeem. Having your name plastered across the entire book. I appreciate it. Chili Bree, how you doing today? All right, so for the remainder of the month, we have two follower emotes that if you want to spam them as often as you can, Whichever one gets used the most will become our new animated emote to the channel. Clan of TWO Podcast. Hey, listen. Awesome to see that you're enjoying the UCS Millennium Falcon. There are maybe some more subtle ways of the, of the self-promotion thing, but... Glad to see you're enjoying the build. It's uh, it is a massive build, a massive build. But thank you for joining us. We are 
we have reached this portion of the lunar research base. So we have our our rocket. We have some of the some of the mining equipment as well as our drone with a working clamp which actually works out really well because now it has clamped our bulldozer. Yeah, it fits perfectly in the research bay. <laughs> oh my goodness, Chili Bree, how are things today? Wonderful to have you in here. SI3D Printing, Synapse Industries, good to see you. I just love seeing the Lego streams lately. No worries. Hey, listen, these things happen. It's cool. Wonderful to have you in here. The UCS Millennium Falcon, it is one of those things that it would be nice to have. But it's also, I mean, it is huge. I don't even know where I'd stick it. Oh, God. But good to have you in here. We are, we are usually doing some live astrophotography throughout the week or talking about astronomy and, uh, and astro imaging. But Sundays is dedicated to Lego building some space-based Lego sets. And clan of TWO, clan, sorry, clan of two podcast. Is it clan of two or the clan of TWO? Welcome in. Thank you so much for the follow. Zeno UK, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you so much for the follow as well. As always, for Sundays, we have our drop game. Exclamation point drop plus your favorite emote. Whichever one it may be, it gives you a chance for a gifted sub to our channel. And we enjoy building Lego sets, even if, if they're going to be, if they're not space based, we're going to have something that is nerdy or geeky or cool or pop culture related that could still be tied back to space and science in some way, shape or form. So with this emote that we have, these two new emotes are for our followers. There are two versions of Optimus Prime. We will be purchasing the Lego Optimus Prime on its release date of June 1st, as we have reached a goal from the community for purchasing this set. Whichever one has the most usage over the next 10 days will become a new animated emote. Currently, it is about 5,000 to 4,500 is the score for the emotes. So whichever one has the most will win. The other one, I will delete every single pixel ever. It will no longer exist as if it never happened. So, in essence, one shall stand and one shall fall. We will vote on Optimus Prime. Whichever one is more amenable to the community. Whichever one remains one of these will be deleted forever. Shirley Bree landed for 1984. Not a bad score. If someone can land for the, the lowest score, then that would be an awesome. You get a gifted tier three sub to the channel. Transform and roll out. Maker deck, how are you doing? Welcome. Glad to have you in here. Exclamation point drop. Let's put on the Optimus helmet for now while we're doing this, right? For I am Optimus Prime, leader of the Autobots. It is my mission, my goal, to protect Earth from the Decepticons. You're Deccan good. Excellent. Fantastic. How are the prints going today? We're glad to have you in here. Does Optimus Prime get gas? Only premium petrol for Optimus. Sometimes the engine may backfire, but that just comes with an old engine. <laughs> oh. Uh, but does gas give Optimus gas? <laughs> oh. 
only with the cheap stuff. Sometimes I don't like to drive behind Bumblebee. Right, so water, this is water, 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 <laughs> water, 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 this the water, 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 Bumblebutt. <clears throat> Every freaking time, it's because it's louder in my headphones than anything. That could pretty much be, that could pretty much be our, our weather right now. Although we did get some, we did get a couple of good snaps of the lightning from the other night, from Friday evening. But that's about as the most active thunderstorm that we've had in the area so far. I know that the, um, the weather is going to be changing. We're going to be rolling into, into heavier storms throughout the, throughout the season. And I'm going to have to really be careful with getting the telescope in, especially when we have some extreme weather warnings. We got lucky yesterday, and uh, it was just those people in southern Ontario who had huge storms. So we, we just skirted that, but there, there will be some wicked storms rolling through. <laughs> <laughs> I, that one gets me. That Kerbal gets me as well. <clears throat> so today's build, oh, we got an extra piece here. We got an extra piece that's going to be going in the in our bucket of spare pieces. That was in that was a lackluster ding. But I was, some some good views the other night with some with some. I am inevitable. Ah, good. Perfect. Excellent. No eyeballs. There we go. Oh, we should we should just end right now. Four hours and twenty minutes. Boom. That's it. Done. Donezo. I will be <laughs> Te technical difficulties on the gauntlet. By I'll the be power wrapping of skull, I have the mustache. Oh, oh, oh! It's it's this one. It's this mustache. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Um. We've been streaming for four hours and 20 minutes now, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to pass the the good vibes and the wonderful Sunday feelings on to another wonderful member in the Twitch community. Let's go see who is doing something wonderful. Actually, you know what? I think I know exactly what we're going to do. I know there is, and to be fair, this was also a bit of the plan before before you showed up. Before you popped in and say hello. Because I want nothing more than to see people succeed on this platform. There is no freaking reason why we all can't win. Why we all cannot support so many of us with the with just hanging out in a stream and saying hello. And just showing your support that way. Um, no, Potato. Another streamer. But you're so close. It's so close. I want to help out. I want to send the love over to Maker Deck. It's make they're so freaking close. I know they're gonna get it, but you know By what? By the it is, power of Grayskull, I have the mustache. One and a half more. Oh, right, thirty seconds. Any questions? Any questions? I am compelled to say yes. By the power of the mustache, I can only say yes. One and a half more viewers to reach that goal for Maker Deck. Chili Bree, well, glad you glad you could be in here. Glad to see you. Always wonderful to to catch you in, if not this stream, in other streams. Will you eat a whole back of a ghost pepper peanuts? Whole bag. Yes. Uh, double mustache is like a double rainbow. New. No. Oh my god. This this is like a full. We have a full bag of nuts right now. That would, that would hurt. That's like, that's many hundreds of bits. So in every 50 bit increment, we'll get through the bag eventually. Hopefully they don't go stale. 
we um, we are a ways off from our ghost pepper, so I will. At the conclusion of the stream, we will just eat our our vehicle. And see, rocket ship is the vehicle for our ghost pepper. We'll consume that. <clears throat> uh, at some point, you must try these nuts. It, it's not so much as day's nuts as it's day's nuts because you can order them online. They will deliver. They do deliveries. But yes, um, I appreciate everybody who has joined in today. Those who have cheered bits and subscribed and resubscribed. As well as Ray RS25 coming in with a wonderful raid with this community. A Ray raid, if you will. Always wonderful to see new new faces on Twitch sharing their love of Lego. Uh, you got some. Wow, are they spicy? It 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 hits like they. I'm not gonna say it doesn't slap. Like those nuts hit you. You know that you got some spicy nuts in your mouth with those ones. But I, I greatly appreciate everybody, everybody joining in, everybody spending time in the community. But what I want to do is throw over the support for Maker Deck, spearheaded by Chris Perillo and supported by well over a thousand followers, dozens and dozens of makers creating some interesting pieces on 3D print, as well as some people building some Lego sets and just hanging out in there. It is a cool place to chill out with. So if you are just going to be lurking for the rest of the day, you know, if you can leave, just leave the lurk on for Maker Deck. Count as a viewer. Also, when you go into the raid, click that name. The name that you see down on the bottom over here. Click it once, click it twice, and you count as a viewer. And you do that, you support your streamer, and you count, as seen by Twitch, as the viewer. And same thing, you pop in on a raid for any channel. Do that, give that double click, you count as a viewer, and that helps people reach that next level. And there are a few others in the communities that are aiming for that partner level. So give them that support. I appreciate you all so much. So always make sure you click that name. This, see me, Astro Canuck, down here? Click that once, click it twice, and Twitch counts you as a viewer, and that's gonna help out huge. Two little quick, two little clicks. And that's, that is the biggest support that you can ever do. So I appreciate you all so much. Hope you've had a wonderful Sunday. We're going to be finishing off our build of the Lunar Research Base next Sunday. And that will conclude this build. But then that also is going to start leading into Optimus Prime. So excited for that. So thank you all so much for joining us. You have been a fantastic A fantastic community, a fantastic group of people. And I appreciate you all so much. So we're going to say, we're going to send you guys over to Maker Deck and go check out some awesome pieces of work that people are creating. And like I said, leave, leave that, hit that button, hit that bit, but it, but up, but up, hit it twice. The, the one, down here for their icon and you count. Macro Mark, hello. How are you doing today? Welcome in. We are just about to send everybody over to Maker Deck. So I appreciate y'all all hanging out tonight. Tuesday, we're gonna be back with our crafting stream. And what we're gonna be doing for that, I think I might delve into the Metalworks Hubble Space Telescope. We'll take a look at that. And we are, we'll venture to try to rescue Jeb and gain some more points. But thank you so much for joining us today. Once again, thank you everybody for the support. You're absolutely incredible. I appreciate you so much. And we're gonna go show some support over to Maker Deck. I appreciate it. If you leave that link, hit that button twice. Count as a viewer. Help bump up their average. DMAT1773, thank you so much for the for playing our drop game. Unfortunately, it was not kind to everybody, but you know what? It will be back next week and probably I'll leave it on to be on Tuesday. But until then, I have been Tom. Hello, I am the Astro Tim Canuck. Pete. It is an astronaut, Tim P. Hey, Tim. Ask me a question. I'm not here to change the world. I'm here to share the universe. Nori, I gotta owe you one. 
Have a great night, great morning, great afternoon, and we will see you soon.